in need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard and this is my first day presenting here on Sewing Street. Thank you so much for joining me on my very first day. It feels a bit like being at school for the first day. I'm a little bit nervous but everyone's being kind and friendly and it's great to have you here. <laughs> So we have got a packed, packed morning um, to share with you. We've got our early bird first, of course, and this is extra special. I know you're going to love this. Now, this is something that we've never had before and we've waited until today. I think I've got this because it's my first day. It's a fantastic early bird and I know you're going to love it. So what we've got for our early bird is a set of patchwork fat quarters. And these are from Moda. Now, Moda is our absolute, we just love Moda. We love Moda. And what we've got here are a set of 10 fat quarters. Now, these are going to be random selection. This is one of the bags um, that I've pulled out, grabbed it at random. But you can see all these different prints, all from Moda, one of the most loved brands in the whole world and certainly a massive favourite of mine. I've managed to just group these into like two here. So we've got kind of playful children's and some Aztec prints. 
Now, at the moment, our price is taking us to just under four pounds per fat quarter. Now, I go into quilt shops all the time, I go to festivals, I expect to pay 16, 17 pounds a metre for patchwork fabric from Moda, but that's not the price we're gonna pay. It's crashing, we're crashing, it's going down. <laughs> that arrow's pretty slow. But there's that price, 24 99 4 10 that's less than £2.50 per fat quarter. That is amazing value, fantastic. Pure cotton, of course. Lovely message from Karen, thank you so much. Welcome, Stuart, you're going to be amazing. Enjoy your first day, Karen. Kiss, kiss. Karen, thank you so much. That bit of faith for me. I mean, what a great day to start. Moda, £2.50 a fat quarter. Now let's have a look and see what a fat quarter looks like. Remember that you're gonna get a whole different selection to the one I've got right here, the random. And, um, but I love the fact that you're getting a mystery. I think that's wonderful. This one here features these gorgeous little toadstools on a beautiful chartreuse background. And we've definitely in this pack got some other fabrics that fit in with that beautifully. Really lucky. Yours might be even more random than this, but I mean for bag making, quilt making, to supplement your stash or to start a stash. If you're a new quilter and you want a selection of prints and something to challenge you, this is a great deal. Now, a fat quarter is half of a half meter. So it's a really useful size and shape for quilters, but it's also great for things like bag making, home decor, soft furnishings. Let's have a look at this selection that we've got right here. 10 fat quarters, two pound 49 per fat quarter is just incredible. Now I've got some different examples here. I've got some bags behind me I'll show you. This could be yours, but remember they're all Moda. Every single one is Moda and it's working out at less than 10 pounds a meter for Moda fabric, which is incredible. Absolutely incredible deal. Really, really worth checking out first, as soon as you start the day, because don't forget, once you've checked out once, you're only gonna pay one lot of postage, even if you check out five times in the day. Now this is a different selection. Whoa, there's some really great prints here. My goodness, look at these. So I'm already finding a farmyard theme. This is fun, we all love Moda. And we love that quality, beautiful, beautiful, 100% cotton fabric. So here we've got some jalapeno peppers, we've got down on the farm. Now anyone who follows me on social media knows that Charlie and I um, are looking after the family farm. We've got goats, we've got sheep, we've got chickens and soon to get pigs. I mean, this is a real fun one. It's canning and preserving time coming up for the autumn, making chutneys. These would be great cut out to cover jam jar lids with or to create little gift bags. What about a recipe book, covering a book? I mean, one fat quarter would do that. Or lunch bags for school. Kids are starting back school. Let's make some lunch bags for the kids to take their packed lunch to school. Or maybe for you going to work, going back into work, rather than working from home, a little lunch bag. I mean, this is incredible value at £2.50. Let's see what else we've got in this selection. We've got some really lovely, what I would call kind of more muted country colours. And again, I think that would pull together into a beautiful set. Now this one right here, this is rather, oh, hang on. Hang on, look at that. That's amazing. So this has got an ombre, almost like a color wash effect. So moving from quite a deep Air Force blue through into sort of mid and paler tones. This would be, hang on, what about if you were making a seascape or a landscape quilting? That would be so, that would be really cool. That's one out of 10 fat quarters. That's less than £2.50 for all that inspiration. Now, you might be used to um, maybe going in shops sometimes and feeling fabric that's 
10 pound or less a meter and that quality isn't there this is moda fabric this is absolutely beautiful this is the fabric that we would normally expect to pay 16 17 pounds a meter for it is beautiful 100 percent cotton the substrate, the cotton that the prints are on, you know, is all important because it's how your fabric is going to last, how it's going to wash, how it's going to wear, how it's going to feel on your skin. So choosing good quality fabric is so important, but it's always good to get a bargain. And this is a real bargain. So that's one fat quarter out of 10. I think this is incredible. I hope you're having a great start to your day. Thank you for joining me. I've got another lovely message. Welcome, Stuart. It's brilliant to have you as part of the Sewing Street team. That's from Claire in Warwickshire. Claire, thank you so much. It feels great to be here. I think I might have been given the best early bird ever. Um, I adore mode of fabric. I use a lot of mode of fabric in my quilting, bag making, home decor because I always know what I'm getting with Moda. Whatever the design, I know it's going to be beautiful quality fabric, 100% cotton that's going to wash, wear and feel great against my skin. And the designs are fab. Just this selection is gorgeous. Let's have another message. Christina from Wiltshire. Stuart, and a heart. Thank you for that. What a lovely surprise to see your smiling, gorgeous face this morning. Oh, good luck, darling. We all know you're going to be fab. Three kisses. Thank you so much, Christine. <laughs> I do. I feel it's, it's, you know, first time doing this ever, which is very exciting. I spent a lot of the last five years working with great professionals on shopping TV. And I had a wonderful day yesterday with Vicky. Um, who promised that she would do everything just right <laughs> so that I would get a good intro. Should we have a look at another mystery bag? Now remember, you could get any of these or none of them. I mean, yours could be totally different. I put the fat quarters into these tote bags so there was a bit more of a reveal and a bit more of a, you know, yours will come in a, in a plastic bag. Um, but let's talk about bags. You could use these fat quarters to create four or five bags. Now this is a really cool fabric. This is a very special, special fabric. Now there's a little bit of a story behind this fabric. The giraffe that's featured on this fabric was a real giraffe who lived in Paris. Um, not, not native to Paris, obviously. Giraffes, uh, this giraffe was a gift. This actually is like what we would call a, like a heritage or a reproduction fabric. Um, this looks, I don't know, maybe mid, mid 18th century, I would imagine. Something like that, maybe 1750, 1760, but beautiful fabric. If you're into reproduction quilting or you just want a fabric that's really different, just love that. Now, the thing is, we're all in a comfort zone, aren't we? We're all in a bit of a comfort zone with our quilting, with our crafting. We know what colours we like using, we know what style, and we tend to go for the same kind of fabrics. Picking this mystery bag of 10 fat quarters, remember, for less than £2.50 per fat quarter is a fantastic way of getting different fabrics to the ones you would normally pick. Challenging your creativity to use different fabrics, different colours, different styles to the ones you normally would. This actually, this fabric right here was designed by Christopher Wilson Tate um, of the Antique Quilt Company. He's a great guy. He has the most amazing collection of vintage quilts and some really beautiful, you're getting 10 different fat quarters in this set. Great neutral, I mean, just, you can't have too many neutrals. There's some really great graphic, bold prints in this. If you're a modern quilter, but equally if you are a traditional quilter, these would fit very nicely. Little bit of retro there, I like that. That's taking me back. It's 1976, I'm with Mummy Hillard. We're in the kitchen, I'm maybe wearing an apron. That is gorgeous, I love a bit of retro. Beautiful blousy florals there. 
These are great vintage uh, style fabrics, this one. Now, I think that's another Christopher Wilson Tay. I can recognize the style there. So this is rather lovely. And I mean, those two together, Regency Safari, that's the range. Zafara, I beg your pardon. And that is actually the name of the giraffe. So there we go. Look at that. This beautiful again, I'm, I'm bringing these three fabrics, I'm bringing these four fabrics actually, five fabrics. So I'm seeing a gorgeous little grouping there. Very, very nice. And in fact, I'm going to throw in a little bit of green. I mean, just great. Okay, great. Got an email now from Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth says, love me, Stuart. Oh, Elizabeth, thank you so much, Liz. Liz just said, I'm um, going to have a great morning. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Well, it started well, hasn't it, with these amazing mystery bags from Moda. Ten fat quarters for $24.99. That is incredible value. This is not an opportunity to miss. It's an opportunity... Hey, we're just about to get into quilting season, aren't we? I mean, quilting season for me runs from January the 1st until December the 31st. But I do understand that other people don't quilt <laughs> 365 days of the year. But we're moving into autumn now. It was dark this morning when I got up. It was dark when I got home. That's just the time I get my sewing machine out and make a beautiful quilt. This is a great way of getting you some stash together. But let's not forget, Fat quarters are a brilliant way to start in so many different fabric crafts. Maybe you're just starting out in fabric sewing. Maybe you started out in bag making or dress making and you want some fabrics to start you off. This is a great way of doing it. I would be multi-buying these. 20 fat quarters for less than 50 pounds. That's amazing. And remember that this is two and a half meters of fabric in total that you're getting here. Two and a half meters of fabric, Moda fabric, one of the best loved quilting cotton manufacturers in the world. And certainly one of my favorites, less than 25 pounds, but we've got very limited numbers. We've got very limited numbers, over a hundred of you at the moment buying these. That's just incredible. I don't blame you, and we've only just started. I know some of you are taking a more leisurely start to your day, which is good. Let's start with that first one again, because I loved. Let me just, I'm gonna grab this down. I've got loads here to show you, but that first bag I showed you, this was fun. Now let's have a little look at some of these. Now, as Techie Prints, uh, my new book, Bags for Life, I did a whole chapter of shopping bags using Azteki fabrics. And these are a gorgeous selection. Look at these, very kind of South American style or kind of American Midwest style too. There's so much in there. I love this combination of kind of burnt oranges, golds. There's a little bit of chocolate brown in there. There's some wonderful teal shades as well. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful fabric, isn't it? Look at the detail. Look at the detail in that. That is really beautiful and so useful for cutting out for things like English paper piecing. Let's have a look at all of this. I'm going to move everything off the table. I want to show you just how much fabric you're getting here. I'm going to open out every single one of these. So we've got these beautiful fabrics in oranges and lovely teal. I'm going to have to overlap these a little bit because there's so much fabric here. And remember, your bundle is going to be different to mine. You might get some of the same fabrics, but what I can guarantee you is every single one of the fabrics in your pack will be a fat quarter and it will be Moda. And we love Moda. We love Moda. That gorgeous, gorgeous gold there. That is stunning. That is absolutely beautiful. 
I know it's nothing to do with Christmas. This is little flowers on like a goldy mustard background, but I'm looking at that and I'm looking at this black print with gold. I mean, this is real gold printing here. Gift bags for Christmas, a Christmas stocking, putting those together. So many different options. These are really fun. Now, maybe you make charity quilts for children, Linus quilts, quilts for care leavers. There are some wonderful, wonderful charities out there that distribute the quilts and blankets and gifts that we make to support children who are in a tough time. These gorgeous children's prints would be amazing for that. Maybe school or church is having a fete or a sale. We went for a long time without being able to have those, but now everyone is back to it. These would make some fantastic children's quilts. Can you believe this is one pack? This is one mystery pack for $24.99 and you are getting all of this. That is fun. That is really fun. Now we do have lots of stock, but you are really going for this. You are really going for this. And we've only just started. We are not even 20 past eight in the morning and hundreds of these have gone already. You are loving these and I'm not surprised. What a fantastic deal. <laughs> what a fantastic deal. Of course, there would be no issue with these being sold for 45 pounds or the original price that we had them on at, £37.45. That's where we started, and that's what we should be retailing these fat quarters for, 10 mode of fat quarters. That is the right money. But we're going for £24.99, so not just under £4 per fat quarter, but £2.49. Let's have some of that. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Let's have some of that. Let's have lots of that. Just gorgeous. I love the sort of modern baby prints and modern kids prints. I love the colours. I like that grey. I think it's beautiful. I love these teals. But, you know, the most fun thing about this bundle is that you won't know what you're getting until it arrives. And we love a mystery. I love, I love a mystery. There's something about it, isn't there? About not knowing quite what you're going to get until it arrives. Like a baby, I suppose. Never had a baby. But you never know. <laughs> Hannah's saying, I wouldn't compare fat quarters to a baby, but it's just that sense of surprise, you know. You get, there's a lot more variety, I think, in these packs, you know. <laughs> there's a lot less mess to these fat quarter bundles too. So if you want a little, you know, a mystery without mess and noise, it's still a bundle of joy, <laughs> but a different kind of bundle of joy. But, you know, I'm, I was mentioning yesterday when I was on with Vicky that I'm making lots of baby quilts at the moment. Lots of my friends are having babies right now or have just had babies. And so actually, you know, we need to be making those baby quilts and those gifts. And there is a lot here that you could work with. Well, I hope your morning started as well as mine has. What a fantastic way to start the day. We will have another look at some more packs in a little while. So I've got a few more random packs. Every single one is different. Don't forget this is an extra special early bird. Saved specially for me because it's my first day. What we do know about these bundles, of course, is that you're paying less than £2.50 per fat quarter. You're getting 10. They are all beautiful mode of quality. And you know what? One more thing. When you pay that one PMP of £3.90, you will not pay another postage and packing for the rest of the day. No matter how many times you check out, you could buy 50 of these. One, one postage. We're only going to charge you once. Amazing. Let's have a look at the menu for today and see what we've got coming up because I don't want you to go anywhere. So right now we're looking at these gorgeous fabrics. At 9 a.m. we've got very special guest Catherine Wright with the Garden Walk Quilt. It is a beautiful one from Northcote. At, there it is. 
There it is. There's a piece of the quilt. Catherine's been working hard. Look at those beautiful butterflies and sawtooth stars. Gorgeous combination there. Really fresh and floral. Very pretty and feminine. There's a lot of fabric in that kit. It is a great, great buy. So that's with Catherine Wright. She's going to be sharing some tips and tricks with us at 9 a.m. Now at 10 o'clock, I'm going to be running through some quilting essentials. I've got a whole host of tools. I've got some books in there. I've got some absolute must-haves for quilters and sewers. So you won't want to miss that. I'll also share some more messages with you, of course, in that time. We will get through all the messages as best we can. Now, 11 o'clock, we're doing applique cushions with Catherine Wright. They are so beautiful. Look at those beautiful butterflies on one, birds on the other. I think this is great for kind of summer into autumn, a little bit of a freshen up for your decor. And there are different options depending on what you want to do. We've got some panels there that kind of do the hard work for you so you can concentrate on quilting and practicing your quilting. And we've also got options where you do all the applique and you can have fun uh, creating those wonderful countryside scenes. They are just beautiful. Love them. So that's coming up at 11 o'clock with Catherine Wright. Then at 12 o'clock we're heading over to Yarn Lane and Yarn Lane is all things baby. I'm taking Catherine with me down the lane and we're looking at baby knits. They are so cute. They are absolutely, well, there's going to be a lot of uh, ooing and ahhing and going a little bit ooey gooey because I just love baby knits. And these are beautiful quality yarns. Fantastic, fantastic samples. Look at those. Look at that bunny. Look at that bunny. I think that's our producer, Hannah. Yeah. Not had a coffee. There. Oh, the cat. So fun. Look at all the personality in that. Love knitted toys. Meow. And then the octopus. This has got to be my favourite. That is so cute. Gorgeous baby blankets too. That's 12 o'clock Yarn Lane. I hope you will stay with me for the whole morning. Now we've got another lovely message. At long last, Stuart, you are where you belong. Oh, bless you. Inspiring us to give it a go. At the end of the day, it's only sewing, but it's so much more. Gail. Oh, Gail in Berkshire. Thank you so much. And you're right. You know, my message has always been sewing and crafting should be fun. It should be inclusive. You know, it's it's just great. It, it, it absolutely feeds my soul every single day and I know for many of you it is also the thing that just brings joy to your day and we've got it all here at Sewing Street so don't go anywhere. Now please do get in touch won't you because I'm here on my lonesome and I would love to uh, speak with you. So message the studio, studio at sewingstreet.com. You can email us there. You can also watch us, of course, on Facebook at Sewing Street TV. Now, I've got the iPad, of course, and I will try and go through the messages on there. But, you know, I'm a man and I'm new and I'm not great at multitasking, although I can sew and stand up at the same time and breathe. So that's quite good. That's generally got me through life to this point. So forgive me if I don't read from the iPad, I'll be reading down on the monitor, but do, do send a message in. It will be wonderful to hear from you this morning and find out what you're doing and what have you got planned for the weekend? Are you doing some sewing? Are you doing a bit of last minute tidying up in the garden? Don't forget, you can always shop ahead on the website. If there are things coming up in the shows, coming forward, we've got 35% off patterns and instructions. This is a fantastic deal. So have a look there. Loads of good stuff. Now, if you want to watch live, various options. Click on the button right at the top of the screen. You can message us here. And look, there we go. Hello. Anything else? Thank you. Your message has been sent. Just hello. Just hello. And that's cool. That's fine. I'll take hello. <laughs> but do send a message. And then what we're playing appears at the top right there. And then we've got two columns heading down. Now we've got our show deals on the left. Everything that we've got right there. And then if you've got to pop out, walk the dog, do a bit of shopping. You can always click on pre-order. 
everything that's coming up, everything that I'm going to show is right there. So you can pre-order. Get ahead, get it in your basket. Don't forget to check out. Remember that you only pay one PMP no matter how many times you check out. So do get in touch and you can also use the app, of course. Don't forget to check out on your Moda. We've got great stocks, but they're not going to last forever. Now, if you just tuned in, what am I talking about? We've got a great early bird. It is Moda. We love Moda. And what we've got here are 10 fat quarters. They're selected at ransom. Random. It's a mystery pack. So who knows what you'll get? But what you do know is that they are all Moda. You've got 10 of them. They're fat quarters. They're beautiful quality cotton fabric. I'm going through lots of them this morning throughout, throughout the hour. So if you want to see the kind of fabrics that you might get in your pack, do stay tuned. Got lots of stock, but <laughs> there are hundreds of you buying these packs and uh, you are really loving them. And I'm not surprised because they are wonderful, wonderful fabrics. We adore Moda. We've got a message from Patricia, who is in Merseyside. What a lovely surprise. Welcome, Stuart. Thank you so much, Patricia. That's really kind. It's really kind. I'm so touched by every message that I've been sent here and on social media, welcoming me to Sewing Street. It feels wonderful to be here. Now then, we've got lots of other goodies on the show. Let's have a look first. Ah, oh, now then. I've never seen a panel quite like this. I'm used to seeing panels, but not of this size. This is really special. It's called Flowers of Eventide and it's by Laura Muir. And this panel is 56 inches by 74 inches. That is amazing. Let's have a look. Now, oh, I think I'm going to like this. I think I'm going to like this. It's got that massively on trend hand painted watercolour look. I'm not making a good job of opening this. I'm trying to be delicate, but you see at home, I would just tear this to shreds like a wild animal. <laughs> so here we go. I can't believe the size of this, first of all, 56 inches by 74 inches. This is a this is a quilt isn't it? This is a quilt top. This wants layering, this wants quilting. I mean, if you want to, Peepo, that is a quilt top. That is stunning. Look at that. It just keeps going. This is incredible. Now, if you want to practice your free motion quilting, if you want, to, I mean, what a way to do it. What a way to do it that would cover a single bed just as it is. You could add some borders to that if you wanted to, to make it bigger. You could do some pieced blocks and sew that around the outside. That would look amazing. Or even just kind of like three or four in the corner, some pieced blocks and then the rest of it, some extra fabric. But on its own, that is just the most incredible. 56 inches by 74 inches. And that's portrait size. Um, that is beautiful. It's a kind of autumn bouquet, isn't it? Really amazing. There's golds and coppers, there's a little silver, there's beautiful, beautiful deep purples, oranges, reds. I think that's stunning. I think that is stunning. That is really cool. I love that. Now that is 44.99 for a quilt top that is so beautiful this could be the key to unlocking your free motion quilting mastery or hand quilting we talk a lot about machine quilting don't we but hand quilting is also an option or not quilting at all you could actually use this um, as a throw you could hem the sides on this you could even use it as a tablecloth that would look beautiful. Just turn and hem the outside edges and use that as a drape, as a cloth. Or if you've got a large window that you wanted to create a panel, 
to put over that window, like a solid drape that you can pull back or not. If you wanted to frame this, you could create a frame, a batten frame, and then stretch it and staple it to the back and have it as a piece of wall art. There are so many different options with this beautiful 56 by 74 inch panel. Now, <laughs> I don't want to burst the bubble, but we are limited. We are limited stock on this. So already you are loving this. And at 44.99, brand new today, I'm not surprised. This is something really special, isn't it? It's a real bumper motor day, isn't it? It's a grey hour. That is just stunning. And of course, it's 100% cotton. It is beautifully soft, gorgeous stuff. I'm really fantastic at folding things. I'm not. <laughs> I'm of a sort of, you know, kind of screw up in a ball and throw on the ground. I'm used to having somebody to do these things for me at home, you know, just ring a bell. <laughs> you know, I, certainly I, there are times when I wish, but it doesn't happen. But that is absolutely beautiful. And what a great project for the autumn. Maybe you're into things like beading, embroidery, and you want to do some embellishment. Some hot fix crystals will look amazing on that too, if you like a little bit of sparkle. Hi Stuart, welcome to Sewing Street Family. Loved your two demos recently and look forward to you presenting regularly from Anila in Norfolk. Anil, gorgeous, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, really kind. I'm really excited to be here. I'm having a wonderful start to the day. Don't forget we've got that wonderful Early bird from Moda, 10 fat quarters in a mystery bundle, 24 99 just a bargain. Now then, I've got another Moda panel right here. Now this is rather special. Another panel from Moda. Ali K Designs. This is amazing, wow, wow. Now then, right here, we've got four different elements here. Four different elements. I'm thinking embellishing and quilting here. Starting perhaps with this panel here, cut these out individually, layer them up with some scraps of quilt batting and some backing fabric and practice your quilting. To start with, you've got these very bold lines in the flowers here that you can free motion quilt around. You don't have to be really precise. Be free and easy. Use a black thread or a white thread and almost kind of start by scribbling around, doodling around the flowers. This is about building up your quilting confidence. And then when you've completed that, you've got this background space that you can start doing maybe a little bit of vermicelli or a little bit of a, uh, some scallop shells or just a meandering line in the background. These would make great wall hangings or cushions. We've got some wonderful threads coming up later. Remember, you can pre-order. We've got Tula Pink uh, thread collections. We've got Unicorn Poop and we've got Dragon's Breath. I will show them to you a little later. But of course, you can go on the website and pre-order. Now, there are four other panels here. Let's not get too bogged down in one. <laughs> Be you. Be you. Now maybe, here's another thought, what about using fabric colouring pens? What about using watercolour pencils? Okay, or crayons. You can heat set crayons and actually colouring in this panel. There's a thought. Now we've got fabric pens, of course. Have a look on the website and you'll find those there. That could be an absolute riot of colour. Or you could keep it completely neutral and practice your free motion stitching. I think that would be a fantastic gift to send away with someone who's starting university, going off to college. What a fantastic gift to send them away with. Be you. That is just beautiful. Now then, we've got a couple more panels. These are, these are really artistic, aren't they? I can't believe that it's $13.99 for all of this, not just one of the panels. These are real pieces of art. This beautiful poppy here. Now, of course, we have got Remembrance Day coming up. 
that would be so beautiful coloured in reds different shades of red embroidered embellished maybe with a border around it hung in your window to show your support on remembrance day that would be beautiful just gorgeous and of course you can color that your way so you could create that into more of a californian poppy you could applique onto this too you could put some textile um, paint on there that would work really well and you know what you don't have to choose between these four panels you're getting all four of them again this is so inspiring i would be looking at this to, to make a bag with i think this would make a great bag too amazing you've got four panels in one let's be honest it's not just one three pound fifty a panel it's not bad is it amazing i'll have some of that in my car boot please we've got 13 left we've got 13 left so if you want to do a bit of poppy um, creativity with that gorgeous panel now is the time from moda absolutely beautiful now one sold out already i'm going to get rid of that this one i'm going to show you really quickly because we are very limited oh this is fun this is fun this is fun now i'm thinking baby quilt i'm thinking quilt for hannah our producer i'm thinking <laughs> this is so gorgeous i'm going to flip that around so you can see all of those so let me see, let me see if my animal knowledge is any good. We've got koalas, of course, up here. Hannah's trying to tell me this is a polar bear, but I am not convinced. Just because you say something with authority doesn't make it true. Although I did spend years as a school teacher practicing exactly that. Um, I'm thinking this is a slough, a slough, not a rhino. Oh, do you know, the gallery are trying to put me off now by just giving random names to anything. Flamingo, thank you. We can add, not an eagle, we can add naming animals to my list of skills. We've got llamas, or they possibly alpaca. But I think llamas, those are just gorgeous. Absolutely, I love how hairy. It's like, look, compare. <laughs> Can you really tell the difference? I don't think so. I'm almost, I'm almost an alpaca. The only difference is I don't spit at strangers who get too near me. <laughs> but that is really gorgeous. You can walk alpacas, can't you? There's a farm near me that um, has alpacas and you can, you can trek with alpacas and at first I thought well I'm really not sure you could sit on an alpaca but then it was explained to me that you they have a they have a head collar on and and you and you walk them with them walking with alpacas but I love the fact that we've got this dotted line here so that we could either treat this as a panel there's nothing you know sort of so bold about this line that it looks like oh I've got to cut these out and um, you could leave that in place you could treat this as a panel, create a baby quilt or a wall hanging, but also there's a huge amount of fun there in actually cutting out these individual motifs. You could add some borders, you could add some piecing around them, put them back together into a bigger quilt or wall hanging. All those different, this is really fun. That would make a great gift for a school or nursery too. You could make some lovely projects, maybe some cushions, but be quick, it's about to sell out. Now I've got another lovely message. Thank you, Morning Stuart. It's lovely that you've joined the Sewing Street family. I'm loving your great ideas for using the fabrics. Norma and crew. Thank you, Norma. I just see fabric and I think of what I would want to do with it. Can't stop. Let's look at something else. I know what we're going to do. We're going to look at another of my favourite fabric brands, which is Free Spirit. We've got two incredible bundles, actually. Now, this is the real big bundle. I'm going to move around here. Now then, this is incredible. You're getting 11 metres in total, half a metre of each of 22 different fabrics. So this is the full range of Stratosphere. We don't offer them by the half metre individually, not today. Have a look on the website. Some of them will be there, but some of them have already sold out. If you want the whole collection or there are particular colours, this is the only way to buy them. 
but this is fantastic. You've got neutrals in there as well as your rainbow colours. So we've got some great beiges and tans, some beautiful greys into blacks as well. These are smashing. Now, this qualifies for split pay. This does qualify for split pay. So you, what does split pay mean? You can split the price. There is no extra to pay. Just creating something more affordable, 62.89. So get this home to you for 62.89. There are two payments, but you just make the first payment and we will send 11 meters of Free Spirit Stratosphere fabric. Now this is the ultimate stash builder, isn't it? particularly if you need those different tonal shades. If you're into doing things like applique, this is an amazing way because you're not getting one colour in each fabric. You're getting, I'm going to open this whole thing up, you're getting so many different shades. Now straight away I'm seeing you know, malachite, you know the semi-precious stone malachite? I'm seeing malachite in this, but I'm also seeing the morning sky or the evening sky or sea or mountains. I mean, there's so much in there, trees, clouds. So I think for any kind of landscape quilting, this is amazing. But also, let's say that you want to make a very traditional Baltimore album applique quilt and you need lots of different shades of green. OK, so what is a Baltimore album quilt? Well, very traditional kind of applique quilt, different blocks, things like floral wreaths, you know, lovely green leaves, red and pink flowers, maybe a bit of blue in there too really quite traditional but you need lots of different shades of greens for example lots of different shades of blues you're getting so much for your money in one piece of fabric and don't forget you're getting 22 half meters but in this fabric you're getting this gorgeous deep jade green and then it's moving right over here into the softest palest tones but what you're getting is also this gorgeous gradation of colours here, very subtle gradation, but then you're also getting more of a definite line. So I'm thinking about cutting leaves that include a little bit of both with that line through the middle. I mean, I love it when fabric does 75% of the job for me. This is one half metre, you're getting 22, which means you're getting 11 metres of fabric all of those different tones. I reckon you're getting five or six. I mean, there's eight different colours in each uh, uh, piece of fabric. So that's a huge range. This is all the colours, isn't it? This is a full box of crayons. I'm very tempted by this. Pulling out more fabrics. Lovely message from Julie in Surrey. Good morning, Stuart. What joy is this? Oh, it's lovely to see one of my sewing heroes oh, on my favourite sewing programme. Please make it a permanent thing. Oh, Julie, thank you so much. That's really kind. Really kind. Thank you. Well, I suppose I'll be told at the end of this shift whether it's going to be a permanent thing or not. So any support you can give would be gratefully received. <laughs> Thank you. Now that's the really big bundle of Stratosphere and that's our bright colours. But let's go neutral. So if you're going for the big bundle, you are getting these fabrics within your big bundle. But what about getting the neutrals on their own? What about 35.94 for six half meters. That's a fantastic price. Now these neutrals, super useful for any quilting. We love our neutrals and some of us have less neutrals than we'd like and when we come to make something like a scrap quilt we are really hunting for neutrals. Often neutrals are the thing maybe at a show or if we visit a shop that we're not necessarily leaping on I and mean, I do like to buy neutrals for my stash. But you know what? These are smashing. I'm going to show you these opened out because I think each one deserves a little bit of a, a little bit of a show. These are free spirit. 
These are free spirit fabrics. That is just lovely. That is a misty morning, isn't it? Walking along a coastal path with a, with a little snack in your hand. <laughs> I'm thinking about me now. Walking always involves a snack for me. I can't really go anywhere without a snack and a drink. I'm like a six month baby, six month old baby. I need constant feeding. But that is a beautiful, beautiful misty morning, isn't it? Right there. But also those different grey elements would look amazing pieced together with some of the motor fabrics that we've got in our early bird. Desert sands. Loving that. These are really useful. I think they would also make very, very beautiful scarves. They're almost like silk painting, aren't they? They look like that kind of hand-painted look that you get on scarves. You could make an infinity scarf with this. I've got a video, actually, on my YouTube to make an infinity scarf. So if you want to learn how to make an infinity scarf, just head on over. We've only got, we've single figures, with less than five. So if you like the look of the Stratosphere Neutral Bundle, number six half meters for only 35.94, be quick. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Now, I love fabrics that move away from the usual, and these do. Space fabrics. Oh, space fabrics. Oh. And this one just happens to be my favourite colour in the world, which is rainbow. Hello. Look at that. That is incredible. I love that. 140 centimetres wide. You're getting a half metre for less than £4.50. £4.49. That's amazing. That's amazing. You might have somebody who's starting college. You want to make them a bag to take to college. What about using on the backing of a quilt? Yeah, I mean, the backing of a quilt should be as beautiful, as inspiring, as gorgeous as the front. Because actually, the backing of the quilt is the bit that touches you, isn't it? You're going to look at this. That is amazing. This would be great, actually, cut into borders for a quilt. So wherever you cut this, you're going to get exciting. So maybe a four inch wide border. That's just beautiful. Maybe you've got a member of your family who is really into all things astronomy. Stargazing and obsessed with the planets. Or maybe you've got someone in your family or you who's a real fan of science fiction, kind of Star Trek and Star Wars, you know, and what you want to make them a quilt. Doctor Who fans. Just incredible. I'm a great one. If I'm doing any kind of dressmaking, I always like to put something really exciting as the lining for something like a waistcoat or a jacket. Maybe if it's only that I'm going to see it, um, again, would be pretty amazing. Oh, Hannah's freestyling now, our wonderful producer, uh, creating a dress out of a more solid fabric and then appliqueing, or using this for the dress, and then appliqueing Doctor Who's TARDIS. Going through space. Love that. I mean, fabrics like this really inspire us, don't they? You know, you look at that and you suddenly think of all the different ways that you could use that. This is 100% cotton. It is beautiful quality. 25% of the stock's gone of this already. Not surprised. It's less than a fiver for a half metre of beautiful, inspiring rainbow space fabric. Now, there are various different options in this same fabric. So let's have a look at this one. Now then, lots of you are loving this, buying these on pre-order. I am thinking unicorns here. I don't know about you, but I'm thinking unicorns. I'm thinking fairies. I'm thinking sparkle dust. That is just lovely. All those different colours. This is almost opal-like, isn't it? And you see Australian opal and you get all those different colours in there. I'm a big fan of opal hunters. I'm obsessed with watching opal hunters. So that's why that came to mind. But you know what? This could create real impact in a very plain room, couldn't it? Maybe you're updating 
one of the kids' bedrooms and it's all quite neutral at the moment and you don't want to go for a full redeck. You want some cushions, you want maybe a little quilt, maybe a Roman blind for the window. Now these do come pre-cut in half metres. So you're going to get a half metre for 4 49 Loads of stuff that you could do with that. You can buy more if you want, of course. And I just want to check these come joined up. So these are not pre-cut in half metres. If you want a metre and a half, all you need to do is put three units when you order and you'll get three half metres all joined together. And then you could make something like a Roman blind or curtains. Wow. That would be amazing. Also, you know, a lot of uh, a lot of us are making lampshades now. You can get some great kits and they're really quick and easy. 20 minutes, less than half a metre of fabric and you can create a gorgeous lampshade, create some real impact. Now then, let's have a look at this one. These are kind of pink. This one is... I think I might have the wrong one. There we go. Ah, let's look at this one. Now, this one is like, wow. That is really cool. Really cool. It's almost like there are sort of mini explosions going on there. Maybe it's the Big Bang or lots of smaller bangs. I don't know a lot about the history of the universe, but I do know a bang was involved. We can all speculate. Well, we may never know, but that is so inspiring. I think as well, you know, maybe if you've got somebody in the family that does magic or likes a bit of magic, I'm thinking a cape for an amateur magician. How much fun would that be? Now, maybe someone in your family is moving away from home, expanding their horizons heading off into the universe on a new adventure. Maybe you want to create something for them that has a flavour of that. Maybe you just want a, a great background for appliqueing some kind of nighttime applique. Loads of different colours there that you could pull out as well. There's gorgeous shades of kind of cyan, blue there, gorgeous deep pink shades a little bit of really hot yellow, really beautiful. That has got real depth, hasn't it? It's like meteorites are coming towards you. Really inspiring, really inspiring. And it looks almost kind of glittery as well, doesn't it? There isn't any metallic elements on this, but it has that look because of that sort of sparkle against that really, really deep black background. That is very cool, blue background. Amazing fabric. You're getting half a metre there for 4 49 There is a lot that could be done there. But of course, if you want multiples, just order multiples and they will come joined up. Now then, this is very special. This has a look, actually, although it is sky, I think this has got a watery look. I'm always on the lookout for any kind of natural element fabrics. That is intense. That is intense, isn't it? All these gorgeous shades of blue from really, really deep, dark navy through to this gorgeous, bright, bright, almost like the colour of a beautiful swimming pool on holiday. If you're into applique, maybe you've got Delphine Brooks patterns. There's one called Fighting Hairs. I think this could work really well really well because that is set against a moon isn't it with a deep moonlit sky this would be amazing for that sky it's got almost like a sort of reflective quality i do think this looks like water to me this makes me think of water but you might be looking at that and seeing a moonlit sky or dazzling sky don't forget of course we've got things like bonfire night coming up maybe you want to create some elements for that Halloween, of course, as well. Now, of course, when we start talking about Halloween costumes, trick-or-treating, maybe having a party, I think thinking about goes the night sky. I've got a moon-shaped face. That could work. My body could be the night sky and my face could be the moon. <laughs> a friend of our producers once went to a party dressed as a pumpkin on a shelf because she'd got quite a round face. Just the, just, the, just the head was the pumpkin 
and everything else was shelf. <laughs> very cute, very cute. Now then, let's just find the last one. Ah, now this is like confetti. This is like confetti or like paint splashes. I'm seeing sort of paint splashes, neon paint splashes. You've got kind of neon yellows, lilacs, pinks, a little bit of blue there. That is really fun. Now this would make a great background for doing something like some graffiti lettering in a plique. It's not kind of street art style. This would be an amazing background to that. Maybe you've got someone in your family who's going off to art college or studying the arts and this would make a great bag to take or the lining for a bag too. It'd be great for storage as well. Think about things like, you know, cases for art materials or for files. Do people at college still use files or is it all on laptops? I don't know. I don't know. I like a file. I like paper, you know, I like both. Absolutely gorgeous. So many inspiring things that you could do with that fabric. Now, don't forget to check out your basket and check out as often as you like, because remember, you're only going to pay one postage and packing. It's £3.90 and it's capped, same postage, £3.95, would you beg your pardon? And that's one postage that you will pay all day. Now, we started the morning with a fantastic early bird. Those 10 Modafat quarters in a mystery bundle. And you are going to get 10 different Modafat quarters, not 37.45, not 37.45, dropping that price, dropping that price. There it goes. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. To 24.99 that's more like it thank you very much now don't forget you're getting 10 different fat quarters in that mystery bundle don't know what you'll get don't know what you'll get I've got a different one they're all going to be motor of course 10 different fat quarters 24.99 so less than two pound 50 for a fat quarter it's incredible value oh there are some fabrics in here that really light my fire I put the fabrics into that uh, Zoe Street bag, by the way, to keep it a mystery. Just to surprise you, love a stripe. Very autumnal. Got a nice bit of light neutral there. There's some, I think whoever's put these together has had to think about how they put them together. But you know, you'll get a random selection. You never know what you're going to get until they arrive. And I think that's the fun of it. We've got some gorgeous children's prints in this one as well. Cute little, cute little bees there. That gorgeous, gorgeous print with rainbows. A little bit of, little bit of weather. There's a little bit of weather occurring in this one, but I do think that's wonderful. That would make a really nice pump bag for school. Ah, oh, do you remember pump bags? Do you remember pump bags at school? Your mum always made you a pump bag. You might be the mum that made the pump bag. My mum's watching, morning mum. Mum made me pump bags and they were usually made out of curtain fabric off cuts, but they were precious, weren't they? Drawstring bag that you kept your pumps in and they were those little, we used to call them daps, those little black daps that had the elasticated bit in the top and they always smelt a bit. It wasn't my pumps, was it? It was everybody's pumps. Everybody's pumps smelt a bit, but they were good because there was no laces. You could just slip them on and you were ready for PE in your shorts and vest and away we went. So these would make very cute pump bags, I think. Great for gifting, great for gifting. You could buy the bundle and if there are some in there that really aren't your style, gift them, pass them on, do some swaps, do some swaps, team together with some quilty friends or some sewing friends, get a mystery bundle each and then do a bit of a mix around. There's so much value there. Now, normally, you know, we wouldn't take a chance if we're paying £17 a metre for fabric. We want exactly what we want. But I think at less than £10 a metre, less than £2.50 for a fat quarter, it really is worth giving a go. And you know what? 
a mystery is a great thing to push you to use different styles of fabric. There might be loads of fabric in there that you think, I absolutely know what I would do with that, that's right up my street, but for example, not sure how I would use, well I mean I'm absolutely certain how I would use this fabric. <laughs> I've probably gone to this because it's because it's appeals to me so much, but I mean that would just make a gorgeous cushion in a conservatory, I think, it would be beautiful, really lovely, it's got a garden feel to it, hasn't it, lovely freshness. Great opportunities for fussy cutting. Fab. I'll keep reminding you about these throughout the show because we have got great quantities and it is an amazing offer, but they are selling out. I love the fact that I got such a great early bird for my first show. What a wonderful gift to me and to you. That's a fun one. I like that. Navy background. Very traditional colour there. Kind of, I love making country quilts. This would be perfect. But what's really fun about this is we've got little vegetables. I love it when a fabric looks different when you actually look up close. Carrots, aubergines, a little bit of pumpkin going on there too. Thanks to everyone who's messaged in this morning, by the way. You've made me feel so welcome and so at home. And I do feel really at home. Thanks, guys. You are a wonderful community. I've been overjoyed actually, since I came on with my book a couple of weeks ago, I've been overjoyed at the number of messages that I've got and when you've received your books and you're happy. So thank you for that. Now don't forget to check out, <laughs> we get a bit lost in fabric, don't we? <laughs> we get lost in beautiful fabrics, but don't forget to check out, because remember, until you've checked out, it's not yours. Now we're going to go to a quick break, quick freshen up, a little bit of powder, and then we'll be coming back with Catherine Wright and the most beautiful garden walk quilt. So don't go away, quick time for a cup of tea, and then come straight back. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say, don't get disheartened. Take your um, learning journey slowly. Don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt. Build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have.
Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scanning the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. In need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Welcome back you, or welcome back for the first time if you're just joining us here on Sewing Street. Don't forget to check out our early bird, it's 10 mode of fat quarters, a mystery bundle for less than £25. We've got some great stock but you are loving that bundle, it is a fantastic early bird, I think probably the best one we've ever had, it's been saved. But we've got some fantastic treats coming up later on. We've got some great Aurifil bundles. We've got some Tula Pink thread collections, some brilliant tools as well. But most importantly, we've got a fabulous, fabulous quilt kit for a beautiful, beautiful quilt. I know you're gonna love this. It's called the Garden Walk Quilt and it's from Northcott. The quilt is 61 inches by 71 inches. This is just a little section of it. How beautiful is that? There's the full quilt. Now that is lovely, really fresh, beautiful on a single bed or as a double bed topper. You're getting all the fabric there for the top, plus the binding, You're getting seven meters of fabric in the bundle, all selected for you. So you don't have to worry about kind of putting your own colors together or how will it look? That's been done for you. You're also getting the pattern, of course. You've got all the fabrics for the top and the binding. We've also got some great options for backing your quilt, which I'll talk you through very shortly. Now, every single fabric in this bundle is from the Scented Garden range from Northcott. So you know it's gonna to work together. All the colors are gonna coordinate. All that hard work's been taken out for you. These are just lovely. Let's have a look at those fabrics. So there's a couple of real nice feature fabrics here. Oh, now then. Oh, look at that. This one features postcards. You're getting a metre and a half of that. So you've got butterflies, postcards, some beautiful flowers in there as well. And you're using that for the large squares in the quilt. It's a great way of creating a quilt quickly as well, having a beautiful fabric um, that you contrast with your piecing. It's a very, very timeless quilt, this. Really lovely and so fresh. Now then, this one's called Butterflies and Blooms. You're getting another metre and a half of that. That is really lovely. Absolutely beautiful. There's fantastic detail in this. I don't know if you can pick up on just how detailed, but these butterflies right here, you can see every vein in there, in there. Ooh, there it is. Look at that. It's actually got a look of like, illustrations from botanical books. You know, it's kind of turn of the century botanical books when there was a lot of exploration going on. Very, very detailed very detailed and beautiful and a gorgeous fresh palette, lovely pinks, lilacs, that lovely golden yellow in there too. This is a very pretty and very feminine range, isn't it? Lilacs too, hydrangeas, some of my favourite flowers. There is a lot of very, very good shading in these flowers too, isn't there? I think it's amazing. You get a lot of 
beautiful, beautiful detail in that. Now those, that fabric's used for the centre of the stars there. It's the first time we've ever had this fabric on air. It's only available in the bundle. So if you love these fabrics and they're inspiring you, they're speaking to you. Fabrics always speak to me. <laughs> fabrics often tell me what they want to have done with them too. I always say, this is a very beautiful fabric. I'm loving this. This is butterfly and flower circles. You're getting a meter of this. Love the fact that you've got these little soft spots in the background, different sizes, really interesting fabric that. And then these gorgeous circles with great detail. I'm hoping that there would be a little tiny bit left over that I might be able to do a little something else with those. I'd be trying to cut this as carefully as I could, so I'd got a little extra. It's always a little bit of wiggle room with quilt kits. That's lovely. It's like you're getting a feature fabric and a blender all in one, isn't it? And the combination of the very traditional illustrations of florals and butterflies with something which is much more modern and fresher, I think this brings everything into a real contemporary feel. So a metre of that fabric in with your garden walk kit. Very lovely. Now then, a metre and a half of this lavender blender. This is from the same range of fabric. So this hasn't been picked from another range that sort of goes. This absolutely goes. You know it's going to work beautifully. This has got a gorgeous kind of watercolour feel. It's almost like this fabric's been painted. It's quite batiky looking, isn't it? But it's a printed fabric, multi-tonal, which adds lots more interest when it's used in a project than using a solid. Solids have their place, of course, but this has got a lovely multi-tonal quality and you're getting a metre and a half of that lilac. Very beautiful. And then we've got our pink. So same kind of look. It's that colour wash, hand-painted look in pink, gorgeous colour this, from the same range, and you're getting a metre of this one. That is really lush, isn't it? That's the colour of rose petals, isn't it? Very romantic, beautiful, and it contrasts beautifully actually with the rest of the fabrics. You can see that's used there for the star points. And then that lilac, beautiful lavender lilac, used as the background. I think often we think background for a star, we need to use a cream or a tan or a white. But you can see there what impact you get using a coloured background. Smashing. There's one more fabric in your pack. Remember, you're getting seven metres of beautiful Northcott fabric. Only way you can get this collection at the moment is through this bundle. Now you're getting half a metre of this fabric. I'm going to turn this around. This is very lovely. This is used in one of the borders on the quilt and it is a wonderful script. Now I'm a huge fan of fabrics with words on them. It creates such a lot of interest and this is, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce some of these, but it's French. They're always French, aren't they? Post Postcard. I can have a go at that. Postcard. Cart postal. I'm imagining that means postcard. Gosh, I'm good. <laughs> so I can name animals, I can fold fabric, and I can basically speak French. <laughs> or read it. Have I got the job yet? That is fabulous. Now, so you're getting all of those fabrics, of course, seven metres. But also, you're getting the pattern for the garden walk quilt. Everything from the scented garden collection. And of course, you know, you can use this pattern as many times as you like. You can use this as many times as you like. But you've got the fabrics to make this exact quilt. All the fabrics you need for the top. You've also got fabric for the binding. That's using the beautiful um, lilac, lavender uh, colour wash print. Very beautiful for the binding. You've got that border fabric in there as well, that grey script. Really wonderful. And you've got full instructions. There are diagrams in there. Really nice and clear. 
thorough instructions for making your whole quilt and of course you can make that quilt as many times as you like using your own selection of fabrics maybe you'll even do a scrappy version using your Moda scrap uh, bundle that you buy today but that's a big bundle of fabric seven meters of fabric there you can have split pay okay get this home for 59.99 one payment will get the whole kit home to you and then we'll take a second payment in a month's time but you don't have to take that if you don't want to I'm covered in bits of thread already I think it's about time we met our special guest and I can stop talking and I'm just gonna listen from now on now we've met before We'll talk about how we met, but I'd like to introduce our very special guest for this morning. It's Catherine Wright. Whee! Hello. Hi. Hi, Stuart. Catherine. <laughs> how are you? I'm very well, thank how you. How are you? Now, yes. we met a few years ago, Absolutely. didn't we? At a very special um, craft fair. And um, what I spotted about Catherine straight away was that she was wearing a gorgeous dress made out of my very first fabric collection. It's true. I walked into a tent and Stuart was in there and he went, you're wearing my fabric. <laughs> I said, I am. <laughs> and it was the first time I'd ever seen anybody <laughs> wearing anything made out of my fabrics. And it was, yeah. It was I still a... wear it lots. Aww. Yeah, it was my sewing dress because it's got little, it's got little set bees and scissors and sewing machines and things on it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I often wear it at shows and things. It's yeah. Gorgeous. Absolutely fab. Well, it's really wonderful to see you. And you've brought us a wonderful, wonderful kit. I have. Oh, this is this quilt is lovely, and these fabrics are lovely. Oh, I've so enjoyed when I got the bundle on. I unwrapped it, and all these butterflies are just beautiful. I was just going to say, what did you think when you opened the kit? What was your first reaction? Really liked it. It's yeah. really nice quality fabric, and it, they just all go together beautifully, and it's so fresh and pretty. And yes, and I really enjoyed making it as well. Is, is it? Well, I've done a third it? of it. <laughs> But also, I mean, how did you find making it suitable? Which sort of level would you say it's um, suitable for? Oh, it's not particularly difficult. No. No, so you're making the same block 15 times. And then you've got your so you've got your so just plain blocks in between. So it's one of those quilts that goes together really quite quickly, which yeah. is, <laughs> if you watch me, if you've seen my demo, Stuart, I like things that go together but, quickly. Well, don't we all? You know. So good enough for a beginner? Absolutely, yeah. Achievable definitely. for a beginner, but if you're a more experienced quilter, it's, it's also going to be a joy. One. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely great. And nice that the colours are put together for you. Yes, yes, I think so. And I think it's one of those, it's fabric blends. You could make it for a little girl, you could make it for adults. It's yeah. not, it just... It's just lovely. Yeah, it's, it's really pretty, pretty and feminine. Yeah, and, Love and it. lovely in a bedroom, lovely in a garden room. Yeah. Really, really nice. I could nice. see it in a lovely kind of fresh bedroom. Maybe you're getting the guest bedroom ready for Christmas. <laughs> there, I said the word Christmas. Maybe you're getting the guest bedroom ready for Christmas. Yeah. Maybe mum's coming lovely. to stay or, you know, you just want to refresh. It would make a real statement, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think and we've been in the house a lot recently. It's nice to have a refresh without painting. <laughs> yes. I'd much rather refresh with fabric. <laughs> Thank you. Great. So okay. you've got some lovely demos. OK, so I'm going to, to show you how to make the block, um, which is a kind of a star block. Uh, let's have a look at what we're cutting. So we're cutting our central squares which are five and a quarter inches. Now the nice thing about the, this fabric is it's actually non-directional. So as you put it in, because on your block, you'll see that your squares get put on the um, point. So it doesn't really matter which way round you choose it. You've got a butterfly and a flower the right way that way, or if you turn it that way, you've got your butterfly and your rose. Um, some people can get a bit stressed if, if prints are upside down, can't they? Absolutely. And this it is doesn't bother me, but so I know some people are a bit like, oh, no, no, I've got to have it all going the same way. Yeah. This one doesn't matter. No, so, I mean, that's ideal, isn't it? It takes the stress out of which way up totally. pieces go. Um, that's fab. And you couldn't be stressed with that fabric. It's too beautiful. Oh, no, it's too pretty. It's too pretty. We've got pink and purple triangles, and they are all, well, you cut a four and a half inch square, which you then cut diagonally 
corner to corner to make your triangles. So all um, rotary cut, no templates needed? No templates needed, Ace. rotary cutter, and all your cutting instructions are in your diagrams, and they're very nice and clear. It tells you how many you need for your whole, whole quilt as well as for each individual block. So for each block, you need four purple ones, you need eight pink ones, um, uh, four corner squares, and obviously one central square. And then your main big blocks are 10 and a half inches. And again, this is non-directional, so oh, doesn't great. matter. Yeah. Just makes the whole process easier, it doesn't does. it? It does. You can decide. You can say, oh, I like that butterfly. I love that one that yeah. way. Yeah. But Catherine, what, what would be your recommendation when quilters are starting this at home? Make one block or make cut everything for the whole quilt straight off? I would... Um, Depends how experienced you are. If you haven't done it before, maybe test out a block in some spare fabric mm. to get the cutting right and to get the points right. Oh, because often the second time you do something, it's like 100% better than the first time you do something. Um, so make sure you tune in tomorrow where I'll be presenting for a second time. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's such a good tip. Yeah, that is such. We, a good I mean, tip, we Catherine. find that in our classes when we do block of the month, and we say, yeah. don't use all your special fabric on your first one. Do it with us, and then go away, and then try it with your special fabric. So if you are quite new to quilting and you're thinking, actually, yeah, I'm going to give it a go with this one. Let's try a big one for the first time. Use up some of your scraps testing the block, then launch into your your big fabric because you're actually getting quite big pieces in that bundle, yeah. and sometimes cutting big pieces is quite difficult because you've got such a lot of fabric going on. So um, that would be my tip to do that. Obviously, if you've made lots of quilts, yeah, just get it all cut out and go for it. That's why we <laughs> come to Sewing Street. We get the best guests. That's such brilliant advice, Catherine. Thank okay. you. So what's next? So you've got yourself cut out and I would suggest laying this out. We have got two kind of corner big corner blocks and two small corner blocks to do and the thing I found when I was doing it was getting my little pink triangles the right way round. Yeah, it was easy to get them the wrong way round. So I'm just going to lay these out like my diagram and then that will help me put them together correctly. It's very easy, you see my cutting's not perfect there, um, it's very easy to rotate things get things the wrong way oh Catherine, and pick I things cannot. up and swap it round but if you've got it laid out you can immediately see there what you're joining with what how the pattern's going to do go so we're going to start off putting our triangles together and everything's a quarter inch seam so i've got my quarter inch foot Catherine, i just need to let everyone know a quarter of the stock on this quilt has gone. It's brand new today. Brilliant. Well, and the only way you can get these beautiful scented garden fabrics and 25% of our quite big stocks have gone. Everyone's fantastic. loving the Go quilt. for it. It's We're gorgeous. It is gorgeous. So I'm putting my tri triangles together. Quarter inch seam. And Catherine, when you're sewing, do you use quarter inch foot or a preset on the machine? Um, I really have got that. I like my quarter inch foot with a guide. It, it just really helps you to keep it um, as accurate as it possible. Does. And another it? great reason, I, I keep going back to Catherine's tip about making the block, making your first block using some scrap fabrics, maybe using your Moda um, Early Bird back quarters. Make a test block, measure the units, measure the block, make sure everything's the right size before you dive into those beautiful, beautiful fabrics that we've got this morning. Now when I was uh, getting my little sample ready at home, because I got quite a few blocks to do together, at this stage I chain pieced a lot of the triangles together. So, so once you know what you're doing... Know what chain piecing is, what do you... So for chain piecing, you, um, you just carry on without these two, I've sewn them and I've cut the threads and taken them out. I'll chain piece these two. So you, you sew your first one, which has just chewed it up, of course, on the end. <laughs> oh, it's always the way, isn't it? <laughs> always. I've got a very hungry sewing machine. It's sometimes if you just don't get it in quite far enough, if you just catch on the edges and sit, it does that. There so, we go. There we go. Quarter of an inch. Then carry on a little bit. Don't take it out and get your next one. So you can have them all prepped and folded up ready to put through. And then you can put the next one in. And so you can carry on like that 
and do lots of them at once. So I was doing them in fours because you've got four pairs in each block. And when you're ready and, and you've got your little chain. And where every block has got the same colours as well, you're not yes. going to mix them up, are you? So no. it's a great one for chain piecing, this Absolutely. one. Absolutely. So then you can just snip them through, ready to press. Charlie's watching, Anne-Marie's watching, Kathleen, Irene, good morning, Angela and Lorraine. Okay. Lovely message there from Vera in the Isle of Wight. Hi, Stuart, enjoying your show with Catherine. Vera from the Isle of Wight. Morning, Catherine. Morning. Morning, Vera. It's lovely to both be here. Great to have it you sure here, is. I always like coming. Always like coming. So I'm uh, pressing these open. There's, it doesn't give you any pressing instructions, but I was finding as I was putting them together that if I pressed towards the purple, I could then see my points well to get the next bit together. Great tip. Great tip. Are you a mini iron fan? I do like this mini iron when you're doing little bits on the, on the board like this. I haven't got one at home, but I could do with one. We've I got might them put right it, here, Catherine. Might put it on my Christmas list. We've got them list. right here. There they are. It's the Prim Mini yeah. Steam Iron, 39.99, and you get a little bag. Oh, so well, that's useful. swung it for me. Exactly. <laughs> I love a little bag. Um, I've put up on my, on my kitchen wall, I've put up a piece of paper and I've said, anybody who wants anything for Christmas, write it on this piece of paper. I'm the only person who's written anything Great down idea. so far. <laughs> There's a mini iron on the list. I'm going I'm to put it on when I get home. Pop that on. Yeah. If you want to get yours, you can order it on the website. It's the Prim Mini Steam Iron, 39.99. So useful for workshops. And we're back in workshops now, aren't we, Catherine? We are. I took my first one last week. It was so wonderful to be back with Quilty Friends. It's lovely. It's lovely. And I mean, we've zoomed them a bit, but it's not the same. No. It's much better having the handle looks great on that. Um, really nice grip on there. It is. It's lovely. And it's perfect for these little little bits of ironing Smashing. yeah okay i'm going to just trim my ends off so which bit are you trimming off there so this is just where the um the seam sticks out okay i'm just going to trim them nice and tidily again ears. it just um gets the bulk out of the way when you put in the next bit yeah. together brilliant yeah it's a good tip Cutting off those doggies. Well, great question, Catherine, uh, which I wonder if you could answer. Hi, guys, says Anne in Cheshire. When piecing, what stitch length do you suggest using? Well, I've just used, I've just set to the default on this machine, which is 2.4. But I have to say, on my sewing machine at home, it's actually a bit smaller, yeah. the default on a quarter inch one, and it's 2 mil. Yeah. Um, so I would say anywhere between that. Mine's 1.8. Is it? That's yeah. really quite small, isn't it? Yeah, on the Elna 680, which is one of the machines I use a lot, the quarter inch um, patchwork stitch, pre slip patchwork stitch is 1.8. Shorter, tighter stitch it does give you a really nice firm seam, doesn't it? It does, yes. Especially if you're strip piecing and then cutting up strip sets. Shorter stitch length is better. So all your dog ears are so trimmed. I've trimmed those off and now we're going to put them together onto our corner square. Now the thing I found with this was to get, because when you put them together, you want to have it so that we've got a quarter inch seam here for when we join it to everything else. Mm -hmm. And I did do a few and get cross because I hadn't got it right. <laughs> and I unpicked them. <laughs> bit of trial and error but a little bit so yeah. the thing i found was was to line up this corner this top corner here and this part overlapping then that tended to work right because that, sometimes you you do it where you center it but on this particular one you didn't center it that was on my small one yeah. this one and it didn't tell me this in the pattern so on this one i needed to line it up there yes when you attach you a triangle already, to a it. square <laughs> yeah it, but it but it does throw a lot of us doesn't it when you sew a triangle to a square the the square end will line up but then the point on the triangle will hang over the edge and it's just allowing for that. Um, lovely message from Lorraine this morning who's emailed in to say I wouldn't be without my mini iron. Neither would I Lorraine, they're so useful. Oh, it's definitely going on that list. You know what though, my husband will say to me, I'm not getting you an iron. <laughs> Maybe, maybe mum and dad will get one. Mum and dad are watching. I won't mind a mini iron. You can't be subtle, can you? When you want, <laughs> when you want a present, you've just got to say, I want this. 
Over half the stock now has gone on our Garden Walk quilt kit. Catherine, everyone's loving this kit. Well, I'm not surprised. I love it too. So when you've put this one on, so you've got to do it one at a time and you've got to iron it open. So you can see there, I've got my quarter inch ready for when I put it together. Uh, and I've got a bit of an overlap. So don't make the mistake of putting that and thinking, oh, I'll sew it all at once because you won't be able to open it up. So sew one and open it up and then we can sew this one on as well. Okay, and that this is right that you've got this overlap. That's what you're looking for. It's just getting used to that, isn't it? And I think, you know, making a test block, you can, you can iron out, <laughs> see what I did there? You can iron out any of those issues or any of those questions of where do I position this? Absolutely. It's one of many cliches I'll use. <laughs> well, it's one of the benefits of actually making all the same bits at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because I made, I made one block and then I left it for a couple of days. And then when I came mm. back, I'd forgotten, you see, that corner right. bit. And, and then I was like, oh, no, I'm doing it wrong. And then I sat and did lots all at once. And I was like, actually, the way to do it is to do all the same bits at the same time. And then you remember what you're doing yeah. and, and do it properly. And once you've made one block and you're confident with the process, it's a really good tip, isn't it? Just making all the same units in one go. Yes. And it's a good way of being time efficient, too. So we've got that one together. I haven't got that brilliant, but I think my cutting isn't perfect, actually. Sometimes Those I'm a little pushed work so well, <laughs> don't they? There's, there's really they good do. contrast between the pink and the lilac, and that's what you want in those star points to make them really pop. So I'm going to put this other corner together just the same. You know, you might at home just, just want the fabric. You might think this fabric is so lovely and you've got a different pattern in your mind that you think, I, I would use that for this instead. That kit is still well, such Well, you've got so value. much fabric in there. You could, do, you could do any large quilt, really, couldn't you? You really could. You've got seven metres of beautiful scented garden collection fabric. You've still got the pattern, of course, and you could use that to make a different quilt. But this is the only way you can buy this co collection currently. Okay, so there are my large corners and now we'll put our small corners together. So you can see that this is going to do this and we've got to put our little corners to make our other I'm bit together. I'm something's missing. So we're there going back are. to our pink triangles. <laughs> now this one on this corner is, is we want to centre so that we get the overlap right on your triangles because you can see your triangle is wider than your square. So I find the best way to do this is just to finger press it so you can match your Superb. centers up. Yep. So and finger then, press not iron? Well, I tend to finger press it because then you can iron it out easily. Yeah. If I if I get to if you iron it in too hard you might find <laughs> you've then got yourself a bit of a sharp yeah, line. Yeah, absolutely. So but I can see that press. enough and it's such lovely cotton it finger presses really nicely. And I mean, I found with this, I didn't need to pin it and things because, again, it's lovely cotton and you put it together and it stays together. Absolutely. Are you a pinner or a not pinner? Uh, well, I've got that I don't pin very much anymore because <laughs> I'm usually just trying to do everything at breakneck speed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. If it, what well, about you I at have home? To say, you when, you, when you see, when I come to match seams, I do pin those. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. that they say matching. Pins are good, aren't they? They are I like, good. I like a pin. I probably pin more when I dress make. Yeah. Yeah. It, I think it depends how confident you are and how, how much you've done. So you start to, you know, when you've done a lot, you find you don't need to absolutely. pin it as much. You know when you're more. starting out, absolutely pin it. You know, do what makes you feel comfortable. Yep, make it your way. Absolutely. Now, Catherine, I'm going to let you get on with a bit of sewing while yes. I go through the contents of that kit. There's so many of you online now ordering this. Let's have a look at the fabrics. Brand new. You're getting seven metres of fabric in total. Let me go through them. This is a beautiful brand new collection from Northcott called Scented Garden. And it is all about the fragrance of the garden, the lilacs, the roses, 
and those beautiful butterflies. If you have a look on my social media, you'll see a picture of um, a buddleia at the farm that with a beautiful small tortoise shell. I didn't know it was that, but Linda, a friend, very kindly pointed out what kind of butterfly it was. So super, I shall know in future. Now then, the butterflies with postcards, which is that feature fabric used in the alternate blocks. You're getting a metre and a half of this. It's 44 inches wide, you're getting a metre and a half. Then there's a different feature fabric. This is used for the centre of the star blocks. This is butterflies and flowers. You're getting a metre and a half of that too. That's the one that Catherine's using for the centre of the star blocks. Of course, if you wanted to, you could switch those around and use this one, this butterflies and flowers as your alternate blocks, because you've got the same amount of fabric. You could switch those around if you prefer. You're also getting this grey circles with little gorgeous floral and butterfly motifs. You're getting a metre of that. Less than 20 kits left. Less than 20 kits. So this is... <laughs> Bit of a final chance, I think. If you love this brand new garden walk quilt from Northcott, seven meters of fabric. And remember, you can get two split payments if you like. $59.99, just pay $59.99 today. We will send out your garden walk quilt kit to you. And uh, you don't even have to make the second payment to get that kit. You get half a metre of the script fabric, this beautiful, beautiful, soft grey, it's kind of mottled grey background with all those different words kind of uh, about posting and writing in the background, kind of almost like little um, postmarks in the background. It's a gorgeous fabric. Again, I would be when I'm doing my cutting out of this quilt, I would be being so careful cutting things out so that I'd got little bits left. How did you find the cutting out, Catherine? Were there, was, was there, there plenty of fabric? Yeah, there was. I mean, I, I didn't cut the entire thing, but you weren't getting, say you cut a strip of, of, of the width of the fabric, you weren't getting lots left over. Cool. No. Okay. Um, I think you would definitely have spare to do great, other things Great, great. That's music to my ears. And then there, of course, in the kit, you've got those two blenders. Now, remember, these haven't been selected from a, from a basics range. These are actually from the same range of fabric. So you've got a metre of the pink. And again, it's multi-tonal. Lovely, soft. Everything's going to match. It's all going to work together so well. And what's lovely about that is that, of course, you know that the quilt is going to work. All those colours are going to work together beautifully. You're getting a metre of that gorgeous pink fabric. Less than 25 of these kits left now, though. So do, do check out your basket. Remember, you only pay one PMP. And then the lavender lilac, you're getting a metre and a half. Oh, this is just, there's a lot of fabric there. This is almost filling my countertop. Absolutely, look at this. That's folded in half, of course. It's double that. Amazing. It's a lot of fabric. It's a big quilt. It's a big quilt. But it's not so big that it couldn't be done pieced, bordered, quilted by a beginner. It's 61 inches by 71 inches. You're getting full instructions, great instructions, lots of illustrations, lots of step-by-steps. And of course, we've got our very own Catherine Wright demonstrating how to make the block. And remember, it's one block repeated 15 times. 15, 15 blocks. I am just done picking one bit because I'm not happy with it. Because oh. it's not going to go together very well. You see, it happens to all of us. Yeah, happens to me pick. quite a lot. I'm big friends with my my, my own picker. I think yeah. you have to be when you're a sewer, though, you don't do. you? You do. Yeah. I always refer to my seam ripper as the grim ripper. <laughs> but actually, we're friends. We're do you friends. know what? When people come to my classes, I'm actually very quick at unpicking because when people come to my classes, I unpick for them so because do I. I don't want them to be demoralised. So do I. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So you get very speedy with it, but that one just wasn't going to go together very nicely. And I'm really, you know, the other ones are. So I'm just going to quickly pop that one back on so it goes together a little nicer, I hope. Just had a quick question from Vera. 
Vera's asked, um, is it 100% cotton? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Beautiful 100% cotton quilt weight. Pre-wash or not pre-wash? Where, where do you sit, Catherine? Where do you sit? <laughs> Stuart, I don't pre-wash anything. I just want to get on with the project. I can't, I can't wait to wash it and then I've got to iron it. I don't want to do that. Now, I do <laughs> recommend steam ironing your fabric. So, so I don't pre-wash. And certainly if you're buying pre-cuts like strip rolls, jelly rolls, layer cakes, charm packs, don't pre-wash them or you just get a bundle of rags out of the washing machine. Nobody wants to do that. Um, but I steam iron That's a good fabrics, idea. Tightens up the weave and um, it's great prep. Um, that is a good idea. It's, <laughs> this one's decided to like ruckle up now. Do you want me to do some unpicking for no, you? No, we're okay. We're okay. One tiny bit. I always unpick though for people because it's a bit like ironing other people's clothes. It's always more interesting than doing your own. I'm not actually offering to iron anybody's clothes <laughs> because our You're going to have bundles set it, sent in, aren't you? Yeah. Bundles. Um, now I've lost my... Our director's just said that he's going to bring iron. his ironing in for me tomorrow, which is a lovely thought. But no. But maybe not. No. But no. Ironing your clothes is different anyway. Ironing your sewing is okay. Yeah. They're little bits. And it's not going to come back through next week because you've worn it again. You iron this fabric once, don't you? Exactly. That's so it's like totally iron. different. So anyway, I've got all my little bits ready to put together. We're going to put the short corners on first and then the long ones. So you can see it's a block that really goes together nice and quickly. There's very little um, seam matching to do, which is always a bonus in my opinion. It's a great, great thing. And Catherine, look, usually this, this star block is the kind of thing you'd see kind of square. Yes. Set up. This has been set on point yes, which is in nice. the piecing. Which is nice. Which is now what clever. I didn't say as I was doing it was as you sew this, uh, you can probably just see on the sewing machine there, you're aiming to get your quarter inch, so you hit your sewing here. Um, so that hopefully you get a nice point. I can't always promise to have good points, but we'll try extra hard today with you being a quilting expert and all. Oh, Catherine, <laughs> I'm not here to judge. Okay, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with that one. Fantastic, look at that. So, um, it comes together quickly, doesn't it? It does go together really nice and quickly. Oh, that, that is what I think the young people say on fleek. Oh. Points on fleek. Yeah, I'm pleased with that one. That's ace. So, so you can see on this little block, if you press it so that your seams of your square, your purple is, is like this, you can then see where you're going so that you hit that point okay. What a brilliant tip. So that was because you pressed your seam allowances towards the... I, towards the pink on this one. Towards the one. pink. Great. And you can see as well that those ends match up perfectly, don't they? Just about. We'll take that. <laughs> we'll take that. Sewing on a good day. Yeah. I think, you know, if it looks good thrown across the back of a galloping horse, I, I'm prepared to accept that in my quilting. I, 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 when I'm teaching patchwork, especially to beginners, people can get really hung up on every little millimetre. And when it is all put together, very few people are going to notice a tiny millimetre here and there. Mm. So you have to be kind to yourself, especially you if you're learning and it's new. Yeah. Um, and you know, if someone's got it over their lap and then spills their spaghetti bolognese all over it, you know, you definitely won't notice if the point's not quite perfect. Absolutely. <laughs> There's a bit of gravy splash so in it. Just take the joy in making it, I think. You know, so working true. with lovely fabrics. We're, we're doing this for fun, not to torture ourselves because a point hasn't worked out. Good, good attitude. Love that. Well, I'm really pleased with how quickly that block's coming together and it looks terrific. You're making 15 of these blocks and Catherine's making one in a lot less than an hour. That's right. And then alternate blocks which are plain, plain blocks? Yes, just the plain blocks go in between. So this bit here, as we're putting on the large corners, this is the only bit where you've got to match your seams. So we've got, we want our pink triangles to look nice and sharp. So match those seams up and I do put a pin in to hold them in place. When I'm at home I'm naughty and I sew over my pins. 
do you? I do. But I don't on I sewing street. I am judging now. I don't on sewing street <laughs> because every time I've tried it, I've broken the needle. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But I've sort of moved. If you if you move them back, it just you just want something to hold it so it doesn't shift as you sew. I think. So a couple of pins. Make sure those points are matched up, and then away you go. And away you go. So it is a nice really relaxed. quite a, a swift block to put together. You know, I think if, if what's great about having sewing guests making things live on air is if we can do this live, standing up, you know, and talking at the same time, and we still we still get good results. And it's halfway decent. Yeah, <laughs> you know that at home you can do this because you're going to be at home, not distracted, I'm saying not distracted, maybe you've got children or grandchildren running around, maybe you've got just as many challenges, <laughs> but it's really achievable, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, and I quite often, if I'm doing a quilt, I will quite often go, okay, this afternoon I'm going to do all my cutting. So I have a lovely afternoon of cutting, because I quite like cutting. Great. Um, yeah. And then you think, well, okay, I'll have an afternoon of doing all my triangles. And, and, and then suddenly it will come together really Space nice Space it quickly. out like that, yeah. yeah. I always, cutting out is the job for when there's no distractions. Because that's the bit you've got to get right, isn't it, the cutting it out? It is. That is the bit you can't put right if you do it wrong. Absolutely. Cool. Cool. It's looking great, Catherine. Um, I'm quite pleased. And it's a different way of putting together a block, this, isn't it? We're used to sort of rectangles and squares and putting a block together like in sort of straight rows, but this is triangular pieces. Yes, it going is. It's together. quite nice. Now, sometimes when you work with triangles, you can sometimes they'll stretch and you might want to stabilise them with spray starch or is it best press? But I found with these, the way it went together, they weren't particularly stretching out of shape. No. So if you've not worked mm -hmm. with triangles before, it's quite a good starter one, I think. Great, it's great. Sometimes they can, people, you can be scared of triangles, can't you? If you've been yeah. working with squares and rectangles, because uh, you think they're going to, to stretch, but this one didn't. No, just a gentle, a gentle hand, really. And of course, fabric, which is firmly woven, good quality cotton, is going to have much less movement in it when it's cut. It's much more stable, isn't it, a good quality cotton? Absolutely, it's lovely quality cotton. I've got to ask, one of the questions I always like to ask people who say, um, your thread choice, are you, a, are you a cotton thread, are you a polyester thread, what do you prefer? Um, I've taken to using quite a lot of recycled polyester thread, because I quite like things to be a little bit environmentally friendly if I can. We sell Gutman recycled polyester thread? Yeah, but I'm, in classes I will use cotton as well. Yeah. Um, if it's the right colour. Absolutely. The right colour. If you want to get that polyester, recycled polyester thread, which is made from recycled plastic bottles, have a look on the website. It's Gutterman Yeah, I, and I find it just as, not, just as nice as normal. It's, yeah. I found no difference whatsoever in yeah. its strength or the way it sews. Right, so there's my block. If he does the overhead camera, and I'm just going to put the things either side so you can see how it's going to look when it's together. I'm slightly sort of raising my eyes in a good way because I want you just to see at home how beautifully Catherine's pieced block and plain block go together. They are exactly the same size. It's a real, that's the reason why it, uh, an accurate seam allowance is so important. That's right. And it does, but it does say in your pattern that if this block's turned out a little big or anything, to trim down to make sure they're 10 and a half inches. But I might just, we've got time, I might just sew these on. You can see, I'm, do you know what? I'm pleased with how this one's gone together, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone better than the ones I did at home. <laughs> um, you've got your quarter inches here for when you're joining. So. You know, all being well, you're not going to lose those uh, points either. And then your rows, as you put it all together, you can see your star blocks are going to alternate with your um, plain blocks. And the six rows in total. So would you recommend sewing together one row at a time? Maybe as you're working, yes. sew them in rows? Um, yes, you could do if you want to see it grow nice and quickly. Yeah, it's a nice yeah, way of sort of seeing nice, your progress, it? isn't it? Uh, again, there's no matching once you put these blocks together because you're putting a, 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 a plain block. Well, it's not Hurrah. plain, you know, but... It's anything but plain, isn't no, it? No, it's because it's so pretty, fabric. but it's a solid, a, 
and not a pieced block that's what i'm trying to say fab now um, Catherine, i've got to stop you there because we've got a very very important announcement to make very exciting <gasps> put your cup of tea down <laughs> i don't want you to spill your tea or your coffee because we've got a news flash here it is here it is back in stock currently available on pre-order it is the Elna 680 Plus sewing machine. We've got it back in stock. Woohoo! Next hour, we are going to be looking at this machine. You have been waiting for this to be back in stock for months. Now, I've been waiting with bated breath all morning to get the message that I can say the Elna 680 Plus is back in stock, and this is the moment. If you've been waiting, if you've been waiting to buy this machine, now is your chance. I've been bursting to tell you this news all morning but we didn't know if we were going to get it back in for this morning we were hoping literally just come in hot off the press elna 680 plus got great stock look at that price 1099 pounds you can get that on four split pays all of those, uh, all of the information that you need about the Elna 680 Plus is going to be in the next hour, 10 o'clock. Bit of a change of plan. I'll just be scooting everything off the counter. But it's here, it's ready, and it can be shipped to you as soon as you place your order. It's already going in baskets. You have been waiting for this. Now available, first time in months. We've finally got stock back in of the Elna 680 Plus. Get straight ahead. Pre-order, check out too, don't forget. Don't forget, 395 fixed postage for the whole day, including a sewing machine. Amazing. Now, if you don't know why I'm so excited about this, join me at 10 o'clock. I'm going to be showing you that fantastic machine. Uh, if you've been waiting to get this machine and to have it home uh, in a very short space of time, check out <laughs> don't forget to check out because we might wait months and months before we can get more uh, in stock this is our flagship sewing machine this is our customers favorite and it's a personal favorite of mine 10 o'clock I'll be going through that machine and we've been waiting you know over six months to get this machine back in stock I would have given you more warning <laughs> but literally I've just had the word in my ear hot off the press the machine is back in stock so we've everyone's just down tools to give you that message so get ahead pre-order on the website don't forget to check out you'll only pay one lot of postage and packing 10 o'clock tell your friends Catherine, <laughs> let's get back to quilting. It's exciting. Sorry about that, love. No, that's all right. It's very <laughs> exciting. Some of with some of oh, these sewing machines, there's a global shortage. Absolutely. Isn't there? So Absolutely. it is very exciting when they do appear. I, I <laughs> ordered some sewing machines for my shop mm -hmm. because they said they wouldn't be here by Christmas until Christmas. And I thought, oh, okay, I better get ahead, get my Christmas stock in. They all arrived in August. Ah, so I, okay. I walked into the craft centre and there were literally boxes everywhere. I was like, oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> well, we're really excited to get the Elna 680 Plus yes. back in stock. Tell me what you've been up to while I've so been So I've put my chuntering. two uh, blocks on the side just so that you can see how your row is going together. And then I would obviously have a couple more of my little stars there. It's going to grow quickly. It's this going quilt, to grow really it? quickly because they're a really nice size block. Uh, and yeah, you're going to whiz it together and enjoy doing it because it's such gorgeous fabric. And also great points on the star there, Catherine. I am quite pleased with myself today. So you should be. <laughs> Look at that. Looking sharp. Looking sharp. It doesn't always go that well. You know, that's what we've got to pick for, isn't it? I look at my sewing sometimes and I think I could have done better. Sometimes I accept it, sometimes I don't. Well, you have good sewing days and bad sewing days, don't yes, you? Yes. There are do. days I've scrunched it up and thrown it in the bin and I've been like, and then I've had to go back later and then fish it out. I always say if it's not going very well, just stop, have a cup of tea. Yeah. And then come back to it. Yeah. I'm always inclined to unpick, then have a cup of tea and then go back to it because no one likes going back to unpicking. No, well, no, but occasionally if you've got cross, you oh, you've, can, got to walk you can, away. you've got to, and you, because if you unpick to in a cross mood, you can spoil your fabric. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yes. If you're at the throwing it on a bonfire stage, <laughs> walk away, have a cup of tea. If and you're then, crying, and I have yeah. cried, yeah, so <laughs> then, then just stop. <laughs> I've cried on TV. <laughs> yeah, walk away from that. 
You are absolutely loving the news about the 680 plus and you are also loving Catherine's garden walk quilt. Got loads of messages coming in. Love, love, love my Elna 680 plus. It's amazing. It won't be in stock for long. Good to see Stuart on Sewing Street. That's from Marilyn in South Gloucestershire. My neck of the woods that. Chooksbury boy. Originally Chooksbury boy. Yeah, I was back in Cheltenham the other week visiting old friends. It's lovely. Now, there are already people checking out their 680 plus machines. Fantastic, well done you. There are single figures left now of this amazing quilt kit from Catherine and Northcott, the Garden Walk Quilt. Single figures. Catherine, you've been amazing. It's been wonderful to have you for this first hour, but yes. this isn't it. No, I shall be back. I shall be back. <laughs> We've got gorgeous applique cushions from Catherine Absolutely. at 11 o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock over on Yarn Lane, we're going all ooey gooey with baby knits. We are. Can't it's, wait for they're that. lovely. And my children are too big for it now. But these cushions so are gorgeous. Nice. These cushions are lovely. And I'm really looking forward to showing you these in a little bit. Magic. And then, of course, we have got those beautiful baby knits from you at Yarn Lane 2. Catherine, thank you so much. No problem at all. Wonderful demonstration. And you saw that whole block start to finish. We even got a bit of a row going on. Nice and easy and achievable. Great for beginners. Now, bit of a roundup. Seven meters of fabric in our quilt kit. Little recap, you're getting all of this in your kit, including the, uh, the pattern, of course which is a great pattern. Seven meters of fabric, including one and a half meters of these beautiful floral and butterfly fabrics. And um, so a meter and a half of this one here and a meter and a half of this one here. You're getting a meter of this beautiful fabric, a meter and a half of the lilac, and then a metre of the pink. And don't forget, these come from the same range. They haven't been selected from a basics range because they sort of go. They're actually designed to go exactly in the collection. Now you're getting seven metres of fabric, which is enough for the whole of the quilt top, plus the binding, of course, so everything matches. You're also getting that terrific pattern for the garden walk quilt. It's 61 inches by 71 inches. You saw how achievable that is single figures on that bundle so be quick it does qualify for split payments two payments of 59.99 interest free of course but you can also pay one price 119.99 and we'll send that kit out to you straight away now you can also get the pattern on its own can get the pattern on its own we just have a handful we don't have many of these so if you want the pattern on its own do be quick Okay, the pattern is exactly the same as the one that you get in your kit. It makes a 61 inch by 71 inch quilt, which is a great child's quilt size, of course. Big, big quilt. A single bed, it would work. It would also work as a topper on a double bed as well. But this would be lovely as a throw quilt. Back of the sofa in the conservatory. Really nice. $13.99. You can get your pattern. Now, we haven't talked about backing for the quilt but we've got some backing bundles. Now these are normal width um, fabrics, so 44 inches wide. So you're gonna join these to back your quilt. And we've got three different color options. You're getting five meters of fabric. Itchy forehead then. What does that mean? Does that mean something? Itchy forehead? I think it's, I think it's because of the 680 coming in. It's a reminder. We've got a beautiful light gray. Let's just move those out of the way for a second. We've got the light gray bundle. You're getting so much fabric. Beautiful 100% cotton, of course. This is perfect, actually, to, to work with your garden walk quilt. You need four meters of backing fabric um, joined with a lengthwise seam. Don't forget when you join your fabric for quilt backings, precious seam allowances open and do remove the self edges. Raspberry. This is a beautiful colour. You're making a £1.50 saving by buying these, which is a great price. 33 40 for five metres of fabric. 
five meters of fabric there, more than enough to back the garden walk quilt from Catherine with some leftovers. But you could use this on the front of a quilt too. This is beautiful, 100% cotton fabric. Now I do just need to tell you that five of you have already checked out your baskets with your Elna 680. I've mentioned it once about two minutes ago. <laughs> You've been waiting for that sewing machine. I know you have. We've been waiting for it here too. And at last, the 680 is in stock. I'm going to be talking about it next hour, but it's our big news of the day. The Elna 680 Plus is back in stock. Don't forget to check out and then it's yours and it'll be on its way. Next hour, we're going to be going through all of the functions, the feet, the incredible functionality, um, and I think like future proofing that you get in a machine of that quality. It's going to take you from where you're at now to where you want to be. Shopping baskets are going crazy. I hope the website doesn't melt down. It won't melt down, will it? It does happen sometimes. <laughs> you've been waiting so long for this machine it's wonderful i'm so isn't this the best day for me to start ever <laughs> not only have we had the early bird moda mystery bundles 25 fat quarters uh, sorry 10 fat quarters for less than 25 pounds but now we've got the elna 680 plus back in stock 1099 pounds you can get five split payments amazing value and I'll go through all the all the bits that you get with this and it is a massive massive package some of my absolute favorite features on this machine it's one I use at home I would have told you in advance of this I would have given you a little bit of preparation a little bit of warning but literally we didn't know we didn't know and I wouldn't have wanted to have teased you and then it not be ready but we are ready. <laughs> We're going to go to a break now and then I'll be back in a few minutes with the Elna 680. Don't forget, let your friends know the Elna 680 Plus is back in stock. Next hour we'll be going through all of the functions, all of the features of that fantastic machine, our best loved machine here at Sewing Street. We're going to take a little break, just enough time to put the kettle on. Don't go away. I'll see you very soon. Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. 
and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not.
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hey, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Oh, here we go, here we go. The Elna 680 Excellence is back in stock and you are loving it. It's so exciting here at Sewing Street today. You've been waiting for six months for this machine. Six months. And when I came in this morning, our producer said to me, um, sort of great news, but not quite sure. Might happen, might not. Don't know at this stage. And then literally a few minutes ago, I got the message that the Elna 680 Plus is back in stock. You are already checking out your basket. Six machines already sold. Loads more of you have got the machine in your baskets. Lots more of you actually have checked out. 20 of you have already checked out your Elna. 680 plus this is an incredible machine now before we get into all of that and what's on the machine let's just talk about that price because at the moment right now we're giving you a very special and exclusive price now our price is 1099 pounds that's the price you'll pay on sewing street now that's what we've always offered but <laughs> I'm afraid at the moment in the world, and we all know this, things are going up in price. Shipping costs are changing, production costs are changing, everything's starting to go up. Actually, Elna are taking up the price of this machine. Now, what Elna wanted to begin with was for us to offer it at that new price. That would have been, that would have been more much more than £1,099. But what we're doing here at Sewing Street is we're honouring, because we know you've been waiting for six months. We wanted to have this machine in six months ago to be able to sell to you at £1,099. We knew you wanted it six months ago. And certainly the more than 20 of you have already checked out this morning have proven exactly that you've been waiting. So we're honouring that price for the rest of this month, for the whole of September. The machine will be £1,099, but in October, October the 1st, the price will rise to its new price, okay, which will be significantly more than the price we've got it on for now. So take advantage, take advantage. Right now, we're honouring the old price, £1,099. Now, that's just for today. 
just for today, we have a very special add-on. The price is going to be set for the whole month, so for the rest of September, you can get £1,099. But today, because it's such a special return to air, we've thrown in something else for you. And this is thrown in very specially for you at Sewing Street. And that is not just a two-year warranty or a three-year warranty. Today, we're going to give you a five-year warranty on your machine at no extra cost. Now, that is mega. That is amazing. By law, all electricals have to have a one-year warranty. A two-year warranty is often added on to show confidence in the build and the longevity of a product. Three years plus, you generally are going to have to pay something for that. And certainly, if you want to extend a warranty to five years, you'd normally have to pay for that. But because this is a brand new back-in-stock message today, we're celebrating, we're feeling generous, we're giving you five years warranty. Now, that's up until midnight tonight. So check out up to midnight tonight. Why would you wait? <laughs> More than 20 of you haven't waited. You've already checked out your baskets and your orders are being processed right now for your brand new Elna 680 Plus with all of the amazing functionality it brings. That five-year warranty, that five-year warranty is only available until midnight tonight. If you order it tomorrow, you'll get the standard three-year warranty. Now, you can order the Elna 680 Plus with split pay if you'd like. We're giving five split pays this time. First time ever. We've never done five split pays before. But today, we're offering you that. £219.80 to get this amazing machine home today. You're still getting that five-year extended warranty on this machine. Even if you pick out the uh, split pay option, okay? So that's a great deal. Remember, there's no interest um, to pay. If you have split pay, you pay exactly the same price. We just divide it up into five equal pays. And we've never done that before on any product. So it's a great day to order your Elna 680 Plus. You're so, so happy to get this machine back in stock. It's been out of stock now for six months. Now, I have the Elna 680 at home. I use it an awful lot. I was using the Elna 680 on air yesterday. It's a fantastic machine. And I suppose my, my first and foremost, when I look for a great sewing machine, the first thing I want is ease of use. And the Elna 680 is really, really simple and straightforward to use. I'm gonna turn the machine around just for a second so that you can see a little bit more clearly how easy it is to use. Okay, now the Elna 680, what a fantastic machine. Super, super easy to use. It's computerized. Now, if you're a technophobe like me, don't be put off by that. It just means that there's an intelligence to the machine that really helps us out. Let's look at some of the technical features there. A pool of skills for maximum efficiency. So this is going to be great for you, whether you're a beginner, you're an advanced sewer. It's a large sewing space. It's so important when you're making things like quilts, home decor items, those larger items, dressmaking too. Plenty of space inside the what we call the harp or the arm. Okay, so you've got smooth, simple operation, high sewing efficiency. Enjoy every moment. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it, really? What do we look for our sewing time? We want to enjoy ourselves. You've got 170 different stitches, including 10 buttonholes. I'll explain why you need 10 buttonholes in a bit. Maximum stitch width of 9 mil. That's a really good wide stitch. Maximum stitch length of 5 millimeters. Two alphabets, so monogramming, name tapes, adding little messages all within your capabilities. Uh, capital letters and numbers available in nine mil, so a really good size there. Maximum sewing speed of a thousand stitches per minute. Catherine and I were talking in the last hour about sewing fast, a thousand stitches per minute is pretty fast. And 91 variable needle positions. So those are just a few of the technical features. Of course, for most of us, it's much more important, like what feet do I get? What kind of stitches can I do? Uh, what are the extra bits of kit that you get? But, you know, 
It's such a simple operating machine. On the front, you've got that LCD screen, so everything's at your fingertips. And changing the stitch is as simple as typing in the numbers, choosing your stitches. You'll also be told by your machine which foot you need to put on. So for stitch number 65, I need foot A. All of the feet are debossed with the letter. So it's not going to wear off, it's not painted on or printed on, it's debossed into the metal. Those feet, some of the feet, are in here, some of them are in here. So you've got some feet here, across the top, including a pivoting pin for doing circular sewing. Really clever that. There's that A foot, that's the one I need for stitch number 65. You've also got things in there like your um, overcasting foot, you've got your zipper foot in there, you've got your clear embroidery foot, it's a really useful one that. So you've got a nice clear foot with a little arrow in the centre so you can see exactly to line up your stitching. So those utility feet are stored either here at the top, very handy that, or there's also a compartment on the front. I'm just going to move my fabric out of the way. It's also a little storage compartment at the front of your, your sewing machine as well, which has got a little pull out here you can keep some of your feet in there as well. And then there's a space underneath there too. So for example, things like your darning foot are going to be in there. All right, so there's plenty of storage space. You don't have to use that space in there for storing your feet. I fill mine up with, with sweets. M&M's, Smarties, anything like that. Jelly Babies, they can all go in there. <laughs> Nice message from Wendy here. So, so excited. I've just ordered the Elna 680 Plus. Happy birthday to me and Ruby wedding present. How lucky am I? Wendy, you're absolutely right. We were talking in the last hour about the best presents are the ones you're not subtle about. You just say, I want this or you buy it yourself. Don't forget split payments. If you want to get this machine for Christmas, maybe a Christmas present for you, maybe a Christmas present for somebody special in your life, all of your split pays um, will be done by Christmas. So order today. Ordering today means a couple of really important things. This machine is right back in stock today, minutes ago, literally. <laughs> I would have told you eight o'clock. If it had been available at eight o'clock, I would have told you then. That would have been a great way to start the day. It was brilliant enough, but even so. But it's just come back into stock. Also, five split pays. We've never done that before on any item on Sewing Street. You've got five equal payments, interest free, and you can get the machine home for £219.80 uh, paid today. But also, if you order your machine today, before midnight, you're going to get not three year warranty, but five years extended warranty. Now that's only available up until midnight tonight. So it's really important if you want to go for the Elna 680 Plus that you check out your basket before midnight. Now, you're going to get this machine direct from the supplier. So if you ordered anything else, that will come in one parcel. And then you'll get the sewing machine direct from Elna. Don't be worried if you just get your fabrics and then the next day this comes. All right, we don't want you to worry about that. It comes from two different places. But the Elna is in this machine. It is in the country. It's raring to go. The reason why I couldn't announce at eight o'clock, the reason why we couldn't tell you yesterday, even though there was a rumour going around the office, we couldn't tell you yesterday, was because until we know the stock is in the country, in the warehouse, ready to go, we're not prepared to tell you. We're not, we're, we're not going to say that something is ready to buy if we're not absolutely certain. But the machines are in Elna's warehouse in the UK. They are ready to be shipped out. More than 20 of you have already got your orders in and checked out and have your Elna 680 currently being processed for you. It's a fantastic machine. It's a fantastic machine. It's a big machine, extra throat space, loads of extras, but £3.95 postage. It's the same postage. And if you've already gone for the Moda mystery bundle or that fantastic garden walk quilt kit, you've already paid your postage. You only pay it once. In a whole day, you'll only pay one lot of postage and packing. I've got some very, very important news. 
Okay. <laughs> We've got less than a hundred machines left. Wow. Wow. So we've been waiting for six months to get the Elna 680 Plus back into stock. You've been waiting all that time with us. And many of you have jumped straight on your computers or on your apps and ordered the machine, including Glynis. Eek! Just ordered the Elna 680. Retirement present to me. Retired. I retire at Christmas after nearly 40 years in the NHS. So, so excited, Glynis. First of all, thank you for 40 years service to the NHS and to the country. What an amazing achievement and what an incredible way to start your retirement. I think that's absolutely wonderful. The best presents are the ones we buy for ourselves. Good luck on your retirement, Glynis. You have earned it. And have fun with your Elna 680. It's an amazing machine, absolutely incredible. Now, I think it's really important that we have a look at some of the other key features and so that you know what feet you get with your machine because the feet are what bring so many different sewing styles and sewing jobs into your reach. So let's have a look. Ooh, there's a lot to go through. Right, so you've got your standard feet. You've got your standard foot A, you're going to use that for most of your feet. A rolled hem foot, a zipper foot, satin stitch, that's also useful for any kind of embroidery stitch. An open-toed satin stitch foot, again for embroidery, but also for foundation paper piecing. Gives you a really clear view of your sewing or applique. Blind hem foot, an overlock foot. So save yourself the cost of having to buy any extra feet. It's all here. Quarter inch foot, great for quilters. A closed toed darning foot, open toed darning foot. So great if you want to do free motion quilting, but also things like free motion embroidery too, and darning, of course. An even feed foot, walking foot to you and I. Uh, an automatic buttonhole foot, so important. Remember, you've got 10 different styles of buttonhole that you can use that automatic buttonhole foot with. A stabiliser plate, a button sewing foot, no more sewing buttons on by hand. A circular sewing pivot pin. A quilting guide bar, a quilting guide bar for the even feed foot. Straight stitch needle plate, really useful that. Five bobbins, a 10 unit kit easy bobbin. A seam ripper, needle set, limp brush. You've got two spool holders that are small. Two large spool holders, spool holder special, you've got two of those. And an additional spool pin, so if you're doing twin needle work, or you just want to wind a bobbin without unthreading your machine, you can do that too. A small screwdriver, touch panel stylus. So if you've got long fingernails or less dexterity, you can use that stylus to touch the panel. A knee lift. Now, this is one of my absolute favourite things on a sewing machine. The knee lift is amazing. You've also got an extension table. I'll show you that too. The knee lift. Now, I meet a lot of people who have knee lifts for their machines. And once tried, um, forever obsessed, I think. I certainly am with mine. This attaches to the front of your machine. So there's a little opening right here. Okay, I can't put it on because the table's in the way, rather inconveniently. But you slot this end in there and the knee lifter hangs underneath your table or bench, wherever you're sitting. And then essentially what you do OK, what you do is you rest the side of your knee against this part here and then you just push away. I usually use my right knee and just push away on that knee lifter. And what it does is it lifts the presser foot up and down. So as you push against that bar, this will automatically lift up. And then as you take your knee away, it will drop back down again. So why would you need that? Well, think about all the times that you need to pivot your sewing, when you're going around a corner, when you're appliqueing around a circle, when you're quilting, you're quilting your quilts and you need to pivot and turn, you need to lift the presser foot up and down, hands free. It's like having a third hand. I mean, they are incredibly useful. They speed up your sewing. They make your sewing, quilting, applique easier. It really is like having a third hand that's lifting the presser foot for you whenever you need it to. You don't have to take your hands off your, your work. You can keep them there. You've just got more control. It's one of the pieces of kit that I wouldn't buy a sewing machine without. I would not buy a sewing machine now without a knee lift. Without a knee lift, I'm absolutely lost. It is such a useful piece of kit. Now you also get an extension table. 
Um, I haven't put this together yet, but um, this is the table. Essentially, you take the accessory box off your machine, expose the free arm. That's great if you're doing things like dressmaking. And then you slide this on. It does have legs. I haven't put them on yet. And then it sits, it extends the surface area. Why is that important? Well, uh, to be honest with you, I have mine on all the time. I never really take the extension table off because it creates a bigger platform to spread my quilt, my home deck, my dressmaking, whatever I'm sewing over that surface area. It takes the weight off the fabric so I'm not struggling against gravity. So if you've ever struggled with free motion quilting and you feel like you're playing tug of war with your quilt, an extension table really helps that process. But it's also great if you're doing things like larger home deck projects or dressmaking too. Normally, you'd have to buy this. You'd have to pay extra 30, 40 pounds plus for an extension table for most machines. You're getting this included. It's really strong and sturdy. And also, the legs that go on, and this is the reason why I haven't put the legs on so I can show you the leg, um, actually has an adjustable element to it. So the bottom of the foot can be extended Okay, so you can unscrew to deepen this. And now this is super important because I do an awful lot of sewing on my farmhouse kitchen table, which isn't flat. <laughs> it isn't flat. It's quite bumpety and quite, it's, it's one level here and it's another level over there. I can level up my sewing machine by adjusting these feet. Super, super useful. So you've got those legs. You've also got a cover for your machine. Let's move those scissors out of the way. You don't get scissors, but you do actually, hang on, you do get scissors with your machine actually, because one really high-end feature that you get with your sewing machine, with your Elna 680, is a thread cutter. So when you get to the end of your seam, when you've finished your applique, when you've put your zip in, you press that button and your machine will cut your top and your bobbin threads automatically for you. If you do foundation paper piecing and you're constantly having to trim threads, the machine does it for you. It is one less job. Now you get a wonderful cover for your Elna 680 that opens out like this. So this is the cover that goes on your machine. I'll just cover up the machine just for a second. I won't cover it up for long, don't worry. <laughs> but you can still extend your handle, so for carrying it to and from classes, up and down stairs. Now I brought my Elna 680 from home yesterday for the show, but this might be your workhorse that's at home in your sewing room, on the kitchen table. They never get put away, do they? We like to keep our sewing machines out. You've also got this really handy pocket in the front. I'm going to take it off now so I can show you in there. It's actually in three compartments. So one for tools and accessories, one for your pedal, foot pedal, and one for your power cable. Now that foot pedal is optional whether you use it or not. Okay, so if you like using a foot pedal, I do. Okay, you plug your foot pedal in around the side. There's a little jack around the side that you're going to plug that into. And um, you can use your foot pedal for controlling your machine. Now, if you prefer not to use the foot pedal or if you have mobility issues and using a foot pedal isn't possible for you or isn't easy for you, you can use touch button start stop sewing. So on the front of your machine, you've got the start stop button, this one right here, that's illuminated green at the moment. That's because the presser foot is down. If I, oh no, it doesn't change. My mistake. Okay, so we're ready to sew. Okay, as soon as we press that button, we are ready to sew. Press it again and it will stop sewing, okay? You've also got the speed control. Now I would recommend, certainly if you're new to sewing, anything, actually foot pedal or not, but especially if you're new to sewing without a foot pedal, I would push it down to the tortoise, <laughs> the tortoise and the hare. We haven't got time for the whole story, but you know how it goes. Um, if you're sewing difficult fabrics, if you're doing very precise sewing, maybe you're top stitching on a coat or on a blouse that you've made and you want to do really precise pivoting, 
using your knee lift of course, I would go down to the slowest speed anyway. It just stops if you're somebody who's a little say heavy footed, I'm a little heavy footed when I sew, I'm used to sewing fast so I tend to put my foot right down. Um, this will act as a speed limiter. It means that you can't sew above the slowest speed no matter how hard you press on the foot pedal. If you're not using the foot pedal then your sewing speed will be constant and it will be the slowest speed. If you're feeling a little more confident you can go to a mid speed. If you're doing really long straight seams or um, maybe you're quilting and you want to quit quilt at quite a fast speed just push that up to the fastest speed. Now if your hands, if you're pedal free sewing then your sewing is all going to be at the fastest speed. If you're using the pedal then that is the maximum speed. You can still put a lighter pressure on the foot pedal and slow slower if you want uh, slower if you want to. But that will be your maximum speed. Really useful addition that. Now let's have a little look at the screen. This is super bright. This is lovely and bright. Really clear that isn't it? Love the fact that we've got icons to show us what's going on. We've got our foot pedal plugged in. If I take my foot pedal out it disappears. So now we're working on hands free, uh, pedal free. I keep calling it hands free. Hands free sewing. I mean you could have a go at that if you wanted but I wouldn't recommend it. You've got here the foot that you need. So depending on which stitch you choose, so for stitch number 69 it's recommending foot F, okay? For stitch number 70, again foot F is good. Stitch number 1, oh, 0, hang on, zero, one. Stitch we need foot A. So it's telling you which foot to go for. Okay, now some of these stitches you could certainly use with your walking foot. You can work them with your walking foot, so you could use them for quilting. But what I would recommend there if you're going to use a, a walking foot with any of the stitches is that you hand crank using the balance wheel at the side. Hand crank the stitches through all its movements to make sure that the needle isn't going to hit the walking foot at any point. And the same as if you're adjusting the stitch width on your on any stitch okay so you've got great stitch width adjustment everything from nothing up to nine millimeters remember here's our stitch width adjustment right here you can see it's the stitch width because there's a stitch going from narrow to wide we can take that down using the minus and this also moves the needle position my needle is moving across as I do this and it's moving in the opposite direction why is that important? Well let me show you. Let's say for example we want to use the monogramming foot, okay, so we want to use that embroidery, we want to do an embroidery stitch, maybe a little feather stitch and we want to use it for top stitching and we want it to be a quarter of an inch away from the seam. What we can do then is we can set the feather stitch into our machine and then we can use the stitch width adjustment to move that stitch over. So if I'm using say a straight stitch I can move that stitch over or the start position so it's nearer to the edge of the fabric. Okay and if you want to do a straight stitch and you want it to be a precise width move the needle position to do that. Such a useful function. So uh, there's our stitch width adjustment. We've got stitch length as well of course so so much to offer in this machine. It's really going to grow with you. So whether you're a beginner sewer right now and you know what a mistake that I made? <laughs> okay I'm going to tell you a personal story here. When I bought my first sewing machine I was 21 and I just left university. I wanted, I'd just got my first house and I wanted to start making things like home deck curtains, cushions, that kind of thing because the things that I wanted were way out of my price range to buy ready-made, okay, curtains, £400, there was no way that was going to happen. So I thought I'd buy fabric, I'll buy a sewing machine, that will be my way to do it. 
But I went out and I bought the cheapest machine I could find. It was about £60 at the time. We are talking a very long time ago. It, was, it, was, it actually sewed in black and white. That's how old it was. That's how old it was. I, it was a treadle. It wasn't a treadle. But it was a very, very basic machine. It did a great straight stitch. You know, there was nothing wrong with that. You know, it did the job, but I couldn't grow with the machine. I outgrew it in six months. I'd already found ways that I needed to sew that I couldn't sew with that machine, or, or certainly that it wasn't easy for me as a beginner to sew with that machine. So I ended up selling it and then spending 500 pounds buying a computerized machine which had all the functions I needed. Now that machine lasted me for the next eight years or so until I was ready to buy something else. And actually the reason why I changed machine at that point was because I discovered I'd seen other people using sewing machines that had a knee lift. <laughs> and as soon as I saw that, I was like, hang on, what does that do? Why do, I, why do I need that? And as soon as I saw that in action, that was it. The machine that served me very well for eight years, I sold it and I bought a machine with a knee lift and I've never looked back. Now we're talking 500 pounds 20 years ago. Um, I'm actually amazed at how steady and how slowly the price of sewing machines has grown and how the technology has grown. Now, actually, we should be selling the Elna 680 Plus for more than we're selling it for. And at the end of the month, on the 1st of October, we will be putting the price up to what it should be today. But we've asked nicely. <laughs> And we've kept the price, the original price, the price you would have paid six months ago, just for this month. So the price you'll pay right now is £1,099. But even better than that, if you buy your machine and check out before midnight tonight, you'll get a five-year extended warranty. You won't get that if you buy the machine tomorrow. No extra cost to you. We've not added anything on at all. Normally, of course, you would pay £100, £150 to extend a warranty for an electrical item this is included, but just till midnight tonight. The price, £1,099, will stay for the rest of the month, but that extended warranty is just available today. Also, we're offering five split pays. We've never done that before. If you don't want the split pays, that's fine. It's no obligation. You won't pay any extra for taking split pay though, and I think that's a really important message. Now, if you've never bought from us with split pay before, you might be wondering, do I have to wait till I've made my final payment before I get my machine? Absolutely not. You make one payment today of £219.80 plus your PMP. Actually, if you've already bought something today, you don't pay any extra PMP. It's just £219.80 and your machine will be dispatched to you. You'll finish your final split pay payment. There's a lot of pays there uh, before Christmas. So if you're buying this as a Christmas present to yourself or you're buying it for someone very special or you're one of the people who have been waiting for the last six months for this machine to come back in stock, today's the day. Glynis has got her sewing machine as a retirement present after 40 years service in the NHS. I see a very, very happy retirement ahead for Glynis. Wendy's checked out on her Elna 680. Another Wendy has also checked out for a big birthday and a ruby wedding anniversary present. You know those best presents are the ones you buy for yourself. You always get exactly what you want. The great thing about the Elna 680 is it's going to grow with you. So it's not a machine that's going to last you six months like my first machine did because <laughs> you'll outgrow it. You've got so many stitches there, so many stitches, two alphabets, 10 buttonholes. I mentioned earlier on 10 buttonholes. Why do you need 10 buttonholes? A buttonhole's a buttonhole, surely? Well, it depends whether you're making that buttonhole on fine fabrics, heavy fabrics, stretch fabrics. Um, if your buttonhole is going to go vertically or horizontally, if your button is through very thick fabric, um, something like on a coat, you need a keyhole buttonhole. So that's one that has a, a slot for the button, but a little round part at the end so that it can go through that thick fabric and you can still get a button through it. You've got 10 different automatic one-step buttonholes. Put the foot down, press the button to go, or put your foot on the pedal. It's going to sew that perfect buttonhole for you. 
finish off the thread at the end, press the little scissors and the threads are cut. I mean, it doesn't get easier and friendlier than that. This is achievable sewing for everyone. Now, I think it would be a really good idea to look at some reviews from customers who've bought the 680 before. We use FIFO. <laughs> Excuse me. It's an independent review service and many of you are kind enough to put a review of purchases. These are customers who have bought from Sewing Street uh, about the Elna 680 Plus. Let's have a look. Wow, it's an awesome machine. Oh, come back. Oh, it disappeared before I read it. I know it said wow. There we go. Wow, it's an awesome machine. I love it. And all the features so much quieter and sturdier than my other machine. Wow, you've just said it there, Pauline. Quiet machine. That's so important. If, like me, you're a bit of a nocturnal and an early hour, early morning sewer, uh, nice and quiet functioning nice smooth action on the machine and it's really sturdy weight wise we're going to check the weight on this because i think that's really good for things like taking it to classes margaret's also reviewed on fifo brilliant machine appears to be worth every penny she'd obviously just opened the box appears to be worth every penny and still i'm not reading fast enough am i and still finding my way around it take your time explore when you've got half an hour and it doesn't feel like enough time to sew something grab the manual the manual is an amazing amazing thing we never talk about the manual we never talk about the manual but it's such an important part of your machine you can download it too so for example if you want to have a bit of a read through the manual before you buy it would be a great idea you could download the manual now have a read through it, okay, and see about the functionality. See if it's going to tick every box for you. Just reading through the extra kit that you get with your machine is phenomenal. It weighs 10 kilograms, okay, so it's a really sturdy machine, but certainly something that most of us would be able to manage to get in and out of the boot of a car, or in and out of a village hall for a workshop or a class, or quilt club. This could be your machine that you have in your sewing room. Absolutely fantastic. Now, it's really worth spending a bit of time getting to know your machine. Machines are slightly different. If you're an Elna fan, then you'll find an awful lot about this machine is in the same position that you're used to. But it's still worth having a look through. Customer service is based in the, in the UK. Um, so if you have a question that isn't answered, then do give them a call. Really helpful, based in the UK. Now, lots of you will know Lucy Brennan. She's a quilter. She might answer the phone to you. <laughs> she works on the, on the line. If you ever need to know, why would I use this stitch? Look it up. You'll find in your manual... There's lots of tutorials online. How to pattern combination with mirror image. Now this is an interesting one. If you look down here, so using, it's a kind of satin stitch in a sort of scallop. This would be really nice around napkins. You could stitch that, just this, repeated. So if you just, if you just choose that stitch, it will stitch that and repeat it in the same direction, all around napkins, and then trim the fabric back to the scallops with nice sharp pointy scissors. That would be fun. But also here, look, you can mirror image and combine those stitches to create brand new stitches. So although you start off with, I can't remember how many stitches this machine has, there's hundreds. There's a lot, there's a lot. 170 stitches. They're the ones that are programmed in. But of course, as soon as you start combining, mirror imaging, suddenly those 170 stitches start to increase and to increase. You've got two alphabets, you've got numbers. You can write messages. You could personalize napkins for Christmas. 
or a birthday celebration or a retirement party. Gladys, I'm thinking of you here. Uh, Hannah's just telling me a, a traditional French wedding. All of the guests get a personalised napkin. What a great thing to do. Really nice. Also, children starting school, of course. I always think back to my days as a primary school teacher. I loved it, actually. It was such a wonderful, wonderful privilege. Um, but I was very keen on children having their clothes <laughs> labelled, even down to socks and underwear, because, you know, sometimes everything gets taken off inadvertently, or certainly for things like PE. And, um, you know, you would need to know, is this my black sock or your black sock? Um, so you can make your own name tape. So just buy grow grain ribbon um, or tape, program in your child or grandchild's name, and then just stitch it out again and again and again. Fab. <clears throat> now, you can lock the machine when it's on. If you've got animals walking around, small children, it's a really nice safety feature. You can lock the machine even when it's on so it won't operate. Also, it's a, you know, I've, I've sat down with um, my uh, friend's children when they've been little and we've sewn things together using my machine. And typically what I do is, you sit on my lap, I operate the foot pedal, you do all the good stuff up here. We set the machine to the slowest speed, so nothing happens at, at high speed. Okay, the hands are on top, uh, holding the fabric, and of course all the action, all the fun stuff happens up here. No one's really interested in the foot pedal. I'm operating that, but that's the bit that's making the machine go or not go. So it's a very, very um, safe way to sew with children. And of course you've got that great big open space here. You're gonna be able to quilt any size quilt on this. Now, some nice messages coming through. This is from Marie, who's in Greater Manchester. Just treated myself, that's my girl. Just treated myself as an early Christmas present to myself. Marie, you do right, you do right. But of course, you don't have to wait until Christmas to get your machine. You can have it now. You can have it now. You've waited long enough. You've been waiting six months. You can have that machine now. Leslie in Lincolnshire messages, Morning Stuart, you're doing a great job, especially with a show you weren't expecting. <laughs> That's the thing with live TV, expect the unexpected. Just about to check out my Elna 680. Well done, Leslie. You are going to love it, you and many others doing exactly the same. Uh, Elizabeth's emailed in from West Yorkshire, ordered the 680, a big thank you to my husband for getting it for me. If we had canned applause, we would play it right now. Yay! Coffee and cake, Elna 680 and the lovely Stuart, does today get any better? Well, I think actually, I think you might have peaked actually, getting coffee and cake and an Elna 680 from your husband. Amazing, brilliant. Lots of you are buying the 680 now. Now don't forget, you won't get the extended five year um, warranty if you purchase after midnight. We're not charging you anything for adding in those five years. It's a perk. We didn't tell you it was coming, so we felt like we should do something lovely <laughs> for not giving you any warning. So you're getting a five year extended warranty up until midnight on all purchases of the Elna 680 up to midnight tonight. Um, no extra cost to you. Tomorrow, the price will still be the same, £1,099. You will still be able to use five interest-free split payments of £219.80, but you won't get that extended warranty. You'll just get three years, which is still amazing. Let's be honest, a three-year warranty, two-year warranty, beg your pardon, two-year warranty. Two-year warranty is still amazing, but if you want five years, by before midnight. We would have sent you an email. We would have told you if we'd known, but um, you know, we didn't know if we were gonna be ready. So that's why it's such a last minute drop in. Now on the 1st of October, the machine will go up in price to what it should be now. We've kept this price at 1,099 pound because we know you've been waiting so long for it. Now, let's talk about what we could use this machine for, because I'm a quilter, I'm a bag maker, but, and, and 
Dare I say, if you watched The Sewing Bee, you would have seen that I'm a dressmaker. Quickly addressed. <laughs> I do some dressmaking. I don't do a lot. I didn't do any at the time, really. Um, there's a story to tell another time. I'll share. But maybe tomorrow. But um, I do do some dressmaking. Urelna 680 is going to be absolutely perfect for all of those things. So whether you're quilting up to a king size quilt, you're going to get it through that extended throat space. If you do home decor, you make your own curtains, blinds, cushions, even things like soft furnishings. So things like if you want to recover the sofa, this machine's going to be perfect for that. Um, things like if you're adding piping to cushions or loose covers for sofas, armchairs, you can do that. Use your zipper foot for applying the piping. You're going to be able to make a great job on your Elna 680. If you're a dressmaker, of course, you've got things like the free arm or bag making too. The free arm is really useful for that. You can slide it off and then you can get things like cuffs, hems, turning up trousers. So if you want to do repairs, you've also got things like the blind hem foot and the overlocking foot or overcasting foot there for neatening seams and also for doing blind hems. Let's have a little look at what you're getting with your Elna 680 Plus. The excellence. Lots of you checking out now. Remember, we've got less than 100 left. Amazing, amazing response here. Lovely message from Elizabeth in Merseyside. Good morning, Stuart. Good morning, Elizabeth. I bought my Elna 680 Plus in February. Even I can't believe the difference it has made to the finish and quality of my sewing. I mean, just that, just that alone. You know, we often say um, good tools really make a difference and they really do. And I don't think there's one more important tool for sewers than a sewing machine. And having all the functionality, having the stitches that you need you know, not just those utility stitches, but it is important. If you want to sew cotton, okay? If you want to sew stretchy fabrics, knit fabrics. I mean, one of the most popular um, types of fabric at the moment for dressmaking is jersey and knit fabrics. So my friend Tilly from Tilly and the Buttons, we were on the first season of The Sewing Bee together, has a brilliant book, Stretch, which is all about sewing with jersey. It's such a popular fabric for dressmaking. Your Elna 680 Plus has got all the stitches you need for sewing stretch fabrics with ease. Yeah, for over edge stitching jersey and for doing buttonholes on jersey. Maybe you're a really advanced sewer. You want to do things like make wedding dresses, bridesmaids dresses, ball gowns, prom dresses. You're going to be able to do all of that with your Elna 680. Maybe you're into making menswear. Shirts, waistcoats, jackets, trousers, your own jeans. I've never made my own jeans before. I've made like chino type trousers. Maybe you want to be able to do customising. Maybe you've been inspired by the sewing bee, those challenges. You have 60 minutes to take this shower curtain and turn it into a waistcoat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It seems to get harder every year. We had a very, very easy year, I think, on reflection. It didn't seem easy at the time. We had to do things like put pockets on a skirt, change the neckline on a blouse. I mean, stuff like that is very easy when you've got a terrific machine. But you can also do really advanced and also really simple sewing. And as our last um, lady who emailed in said, the difference between her sewing before and after buying this machine, even she has noticed it. It's all about ease of use. It's all about having those things at your fingertips. Great, great machine. Oh, oh, I've got a big message. It's the best of times, it's the worst of times. Um, if everyone who's got an Elna 680 in their, in their shopping basket checks out, we will have less than 50 machines. Whew. Okay. <laughs> We've waited a long time to get this stock in um, and 
clearly you customers have been waiting for a very, very long time. It's the largest amount we've ever bought in one go from Elna. Um, we got everything we could, basically. We got everything we could. And at the moment, for the rest of September, this price is going to stay at £1,099. You're getting five split pays if you want them. There's no interest to pay. And you only have to make the first payment. We will send you your Elna 680 Excellence straight out to you. We don't normally do five. This is the first time we've ever done five split pays on anything on Sony Street. So amazing price, 21980 to get the machine home to you. Now, if you check out before midnight tonight, you'll get a five year extended warranty. If you wait until one minute past midnight, you'll get two year warranty. So I really think it's worth checking out today, but you will still get that price of £1,099 for the rest of the month. 1st of October, that price is going to rise and it will rise to the price that we should be selling the machine for now. We've kept it at £1,099 because you've been waiting for this machine. Now, great question from Carol. Carol asks, morning Stuart, can I ask, does it have a quarter inch foot, blanket stitch, drop feed please, and a table? Sorry, just tuned in. Yeah, not a problem, Carol. You get all of that, everything you wanted, you get all of it. You get a quarter inch foot, it can do a blanket stitch. It's got a number of different blanket stitches. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Machine applique, gorgeous. That's when your knee lift is gonna come in beautifully. If you've never used one before, get it plugged straight in use it. I promise you, once you've used it, um, you will be, have this on all the time. It is an amazing bit of kit. Um, you get the extension table, of course. Uh, mine's never off my machine unless I'm finishing a bag. You get a walking foot. Your darning foot. Now then, let me just show you your darning foot. This is rather wonderful. Your darning foot, you actually get different options you get all of these you get all of these so what you've got is the um, closed toe darning foot so this is got an acrylic and so you can see through it so you can see exactly where you're going you've got those red marks there so you can centralize but also so you can do things like outline quilting so line up either of these lines with say the edge of an applique or the edge of a pieced block and then you'll be stitching a measured distance away. So don't look at the needle, look at the edge of the, the foot, okay? Then you also get an open-toed darning foot. Can you see the, to the, the toe is open? Now that is my absolute favorite for free motion quilting um, because the open toe allows me to see exactly where I've stitched. If I'm doing very detailed um, free motion machine quilting and I want to really, really see where I'm going, what I'm doing, that goes on. Then you've also got, I always refer to this as the Bigfoot. It's like a bullseye. It's like a sight is not on a rifle. <laughs> now, what this does is you've got the, the sights so you can see exactly where you're stitching, but also this large flat surface actually holds your fabric down as you're quilting. So it creates a smoother surface for you to stitch over it's much less likely to push the fabric up as you go along. It just keeps everything flatter and neater. This is a really good bit of extra kit. You'd normally have to buy things like this. You don't normally get a darning foot at all with a sewing machine, unless it's a special quilters package. You're getting three different options of darning foot, a walking foot and a quarter inch foot. That is what a quilter needs. That is what a quilter needs. Yeah, Carol, you're very welcome. I'm happy to answer any questions at all. And you get a walking foot, more than you asked for. There's that walking foot. There's your walking foot. And you can see what it does is, as you take each stitch, almost a second set of feed dogs comes down 
So this meets the feed dogs at the bottom of your machine and essentially kind of like grips your fabric as you take a stitch. Let's go, take a stitch, let's go. And this is why it feeds the fabric evenly from the top and the bottom. So you don't get wrinkles or tucks when you're quilting, but also if you're piecing something like curtains, and let's say you're having to join two widths of fabric together, okay, to create your curtain. And it's a patterned fabric and you have pinned and you have matched your pattern beautifully so that when it's stitched, no one will be able to tell you've joined two widths. Now, if you sew that seam with a standard foot, they do, the top and the bottom fabrics do not feed completely evenly. On a short run, it doesn't really matter. On a big run, it matters. And you'll find that the fabric on the top starts to creep forward. So all your careful matching of your, your pattern goes out the window. You match your pattern, you use your walking foot instead, the fabric will feed evenly, you get a perfect match. Top tip, top tip. Now then, what else should we look at? There is so much on this machine. You get a straight stitch plate. I think it's underneath. Ah, here we go. Okay. Straight stitch plate. Now, you might get this with your machine and think, what, what is this for? Okay, there's something really important that I want to point out to you. Yeah, there, there are two types of stitch plate, basically. A, a zigzag or a swing needle stitch plate, okay, which is what's on the machine. And you can leave that on the machine forever. You don't need to change the stitch plate if you don't want to. But this is a straight stitch plate, and this is the really important bit here. Right here. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you are. Ah, can you see there's just a little circle in the centre? That's for the needle to go through. Now that means if we're doing a straight stitch, the needle doesn't swing from side to side to make a zigzag or a decorative stitch or anything else. It's just going up and down on the spot to make a straight stitch. This solves the problem of hungry sewing machines. We've all had our sewing machine gobble up fabric haven't we, where it goes down into the needle plate. A zigzag plate can do that. If you're using decorative stitching and your needle's going from side to side, please don't use this plate because your needle will go to one side and it'll hit the metal and it'll break. So this is only if you're doing straight stitching, but it can be really, really useful, really useful. You'll get a very, very precise and straight, um, terrific, terrific plate to get. Really good. And you've still got things like your bobbin cover. So a few screws to undo, put this in place, screw it back down, you're good to go. But just don't forget to change it when you go back to decorative stitching. And it lives in there. Okay, so you've always got that handy. But like I say, you never need to put that on if you don't want to. But it's there if you want it. It would be extra money if you wanted to buy one. You've got that included. I can't believe for just over a thousand pounds what you're getting in this machine. It's an incredible package. It's an incredible package. And I know you agree because so many of you have bought the Elna 680 Plus this morning. You've been asking for it for six months. We've been asking for it for six months. And literally, we didn't know if we were going to get it for today. Um, we had our plan for the morning, <laughs> for my first morning. Everything's going to go to plan. Yeah, no changes. I no one told me there wouldn't be any changes. And I didn't expect there to be no changes. I've done live TV for long enough. But I didn't know that we were going to be lucky enough to get the Elna back in stock. So this is momentous. Very, very exciting. Now we do need to go to break, but don't forget, you can still buy the Elna 680, even if we don't have it on air. Uh, go to the website. It'll be underneath what our live page is. Yep. So go onto our live page, it'll be there. Don't look in sewing machines, it's too new. <laughs> it's so in today, right today, that that's the place to look for it, all right?
have a chat, you know, with family members if you're thinking about buying this as a gift for somebody, you know, have a think, download the manual from Elna's website, have a read through it. Or don't download it, just read it on screen, you know, or on your tablet. See if it's the right machine for you or for the person you want to buy it for. But know that I think it's future-proofed because you've so many stitches, so many feet, so many extras that it's going to grow with you. That's the Elna 680 Plus that's come back in stock today. Don't forget, if you buy before midnight tonight, you get a five-year extended warranty, no extra cost. If you buy it in the month of September, you're going to get that great price, £1,099. Available with five split pays if you want them. There's no interest to pay, £219.80 to get the Elna 680 home. But in October, 1st of October, that price will rise. So get it now. And while we've got stock, we've less than 50. We've less than 50. So make sure you check out. Remember, it's only one PMP. But it's time for us to move on. So it's time for a little break. I'm about ready for a cup of tea. I'm about ready for a cup of tea. It's a happy day here at Sewing Street for so many reasons. One of which is I've just been told we've got milk. So I can have my cup of tea. So I'll be back after the break with a mug, with tea, because anybody who knows me knows I cannot function without tea. It's one of my essential foods. But we're back with Catherine with some wonderful applique cushions. You won't want to miss them, so don't go away. Lots of tips and tricks to make your applique and sewing better here on Sewing Street. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi, it's me, Neil, and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Hi everyone, my name is Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. It's combining two of my favourite things which are sewing and designing. Uh, I live in London at the moment but I'm originally from Staffordshire uh, so I think I've got a combination of two really great things so London's really diverse and um, lots of different cultural impacts and then Staffordshire is very rural so there's a lot of country influence in what I do. My grandma first taught me to sew when I was in my early teens. She was a dressmaker and she was always sewing and taking in orders from different people um, and I think I got my initial love of sewing from her. Um, I started making my clothes uh, because I couldn't find anything that was fashionable so I created my own fashion. A um, bit dubious at times probably. I remember once I um, bought some really lovely, as I thought, heavy brocade material. I created a pencil skirt, thought that was fabulous. It turned out to be curtaining uh, and I got quite a lot of stick from that. But uh, you know, in my defence, I was a new romantic and I, I think I was just fashion forward. Um, I have done a lot of um, teaching and coaching and mentoring uh, in sewing in my career. Um, and I would think that probably the best tip that I can give to people, because um, all age groups have various challenges, but the best tip is to be kind and good to yourself and don't worry about if you make mistakes because you've always got your seam ripper to hand. 
I'm really looking forward to my shows with Sewing Street and helping you have some hints and tips and knowledge. So I look forward to seeing you soon. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi, it's me Neil and I have a surprise for you. I've been scaring the warehouse and for the entire week starting Monday the 13th of September to Sunday the 19th of September I'll be bringing you a manager special every day. So for seven days I'll be here live bringing you an amazing auction with amazing savings. So make sure you tune in and don't miss out. Is that okay Elliot? You're not going to do anything funny with my voice are you? No, no, of course not. Of course not. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Welcome to Sewing Street. If you've just joined us, welcome. It's good to have you here. You've picked a great day for it. We've got some amazing, amazing products and an amazing guest on air with me today, Catherine Wright. We've got a great show coming up with her. I just want to say massive, massive congratulations to anybody who has already bought their Elna 680 Excellence today. What a machine. What a machine. It's come back into stock. We've been waiting for six months. It came back into stock uh, less than an hour ago. <laughs> and so many of you have already checked out your baskets on this amazing machine. We've had some lovely messages this morning. Thank you everyone who's taken the time to do that. Jan in Lancashire said, Stuart, what a lovely addition you are to the Sewing Street family. Thank you. My son says you have a lovely relaxing voice. Thank you, Jan and Jan's son. That's really kind. Can send people to sleep. <laughs> I will do one of those tapes if you can't sleep. I'll just talk about very raindrops and things like that. I'm actually, a, I'm a qualified hypnotherapist. So maybe I've got that voice that's just, I've got a lot of thread on me. I'm definitely in my comfort zone now. I'm getting covered in thread. I'm home, I'm home. I mentioned that we've got the most wonderful guest today, Catherine Wright, who we'll be meeting in just a sec. But let's have a look and see what Catherine's going to be bringing. Brand new today, exclusive to us here at Sewing Street. Beautiful, beautiful cushions here and two very, very different options to achieve the same thing. Now, we've got these two beautiful options for you. Let me go through them. Let's start with butterflies. I do love a butterfly. It's been a lot of butterflies on the show today. This is the butterfly applique cushion. Now what we've got here, let me grab it out. So this is for those of you who want to have a go at applique. Now this is a fantastic panel printed exclusively for us here at Sewing Street. It's an amazing price, $12.99. You're getting your front your envelope back, you're getting fabric to add borders if you wanted to, 
four extras. You're getting all of the applique elements as well. All of this included for $12.99. I'm thinking multi-buy. I'm thinking one for me, one for a friend. Or two cushions, three cushions. Gorgeous. Now, which friend would I buy this for? The producer friend? Director friend? I don't know. I don't know. Gorgeous. Lovely to have all the elements there, though. And everything goes together because we've got these lovely, soft, peachy pink tones for our border and our backing. We've actually got, it's difficult for you to see at home on screen, but we've actually got, I'm going to move this over a little bit so you can see. Can you see? We've got some very light placement lines, almost looks like a pencil line here, printed. And this is for helping you to place. Now they're just slightly smaller than the actual appliques that are gonna go on. So they're gonna be covered up by the appliques. You've also got the antenna of the butterflies already printed because I don't think any of us would fancy appliqueing something as fine as that. But you could use these for Embroidery. You can embroider those on or you can just leave them printed. OK, and then going further down on the panel, you've got those elements to build up the scene. I think this is fab. Look at that. So this is our butterfly cushion applique panel. And this is the option that you're going to use if you want to learn to do applique. So, um, fused applique. So what you're going to do here, essentially, we've got Catherine to talk us through the whole process, but we've got our appliques here, we've got fabrics for our backing and our front, we've got extra elements here that we could use perhaps for adding borders. So if you wanted to create it into a small wall hanging, you absolutely could. You could also add in some fabrics of your own to this and extend it, use it as a starting point. So that's an option if you want to focus on the applique, learn those skills, develop those skills, or just like the look of the butterfly cushion. However, maybe you want something that provides more of a starting point for free motion quilting. Hand embroidery, embellishment. We've got a second very clever option. This is a fun idea. I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to get used to putting things the right way up eventually, Elliot. <laughs> We've got the panel actually already printed. So if you do choose the applique option, this is a blank center and you add these elements. But with this option, now this is our butterfly cushion complete panel. OK. Different code. Make sure you order the right one. You can concentrate on, on free motion quilting. You could embellish, you could add embroidery details, you could hand quilt around these different elements. Maybe you're brand new to sewing, a cushion, an envelope back cushion is a great place to start for a really simple project, but maybe you don't want it to look like it's the first thing you've ever made. You want it to look a little bit special, a little bit different. So choosing this panel, which has got a gorgeous um, applique look, to it could be a great way of creating a bit, a bit so it's more special without needing those extra skills. But you could also use this as a great starting point for embellishment, embroidery, free motion quilting too. Now you're also getting of course the other elements there that you will need for your cushion. So you're getting your pieces for your envelope back, two pieces that you're going to use for that. And then you're also still getting those beautiful sort of border elements. You get, it's almost like ribbon, isn't it? You could fussy cut strips. You could use them for borders. You could use this in a matching project that goes with the cushion. So I think maybe with a few extra fabrics from your stash, one cushion panel could turn into two cushions quite easily or a bag or a bag. What about, what about, hang on. What about shopping tote bag? This on the front, you could do some piecing, some of this, some of this on the back, create the straps, the handles. Mm. 
Wall hangings, welcome to my home. That would be fun. All sorts of things you could do with that. Really lovely. Be creative with these panels, you know. You can, you can make them up just as they are and they'll be wonderful. But you can also use them as a springboard for your creativity. Now, let's have a look at our second panel. Now we'll keep this for one second. I want to show you, I want to start with the Applique Yourself panel. Ooh, now I'm loving straight away these lovely fresh greens, this gingham look. Do you know, I've just no space, I've no spatial awareness, that's the problem. I walk into a shop and I walk out of the shop and I don't know if I've already been left or right. If you ever see me on the high street looking confused, I'm okay, I'm okay. I just can't remember whether I've been that way or that way. I'll get there in the end. <laughs> I don't know. But you've got that same background. So you've already got the border, already got the border in place. You've got the fine lines printed on to help you with your applique placement, okay? makes it really straightforward and easy. No tracing required, no extra work required. You can get straight to applique. You've got those lovely elements. You've got the birds and the branch. And then over here, very nice this, very nice. Heading towards autumn, aren't we? Got some nice little elements here that we're gonna be able to applique on. We've got our rolling hills that we're gonna build up in the background to create our scene, to set our scene. And then we've also got, really love this fresh spring green, leafy green gingham look. And then of course we've also got those border elements. And this I think is much more kind of obviously in borders here or ribbons. Lots of extra creativity in there. So this is the element that you're gonna, this is the panel you're gonna go for if you want to applique yourself. But we also have the already done for you. You can concentrate on the quilting, embroidery, embellishment version. That's my title. It's concise, isn't it? <laughs> That's me. It's a great mix of colours in this, isn't it? Love this kind of grey blue, this duck egg blue with these fresh greens. That is very pleasing. And this is what your applique yourself panel will look like. Pretty much level pegging. You're loving both of them. All those same elements. I'm going to be asking Catherine how she did this. Love that. Love that. And this, I think, is using the already printed, ready to go version. Look at all that lovely quilting in there. Now, this would be a great panel if you're beginning quilting or you want to practice your quilting, because there's different areas. Now you would need some quilt batting to go with this for when you want to quilt it. So do check out the website and pre-order. We've got some lovely options on quilt batting. You can buy it by the half meter. Very useful for these projects. Half a meter would be plenty to do both panels, both cushions and more besides. It's a really good width. There it is, cotton mix wadding, 80 cotton, 20 polyester, light and soft blend, 244 centimetres in width by half a metre. I think, tell me if I'm right on my measurements here, 244 centimetres, is that 120 inches or less, 90, 90 inches? Furrowing my brows, furrowing my brows. 96 inches, 96 inches by half a metre. Fantastic size. So you're not going to need much of that for two cushions. Great option. We've also got Bonder Web on the show. We've got Bonder Web on the show, which you will need for this uh, kit, for this panel, to create the cushions. So this is a long strip of, of Bonder Web. You're not going to need lots for this project, so you'll have plenty left over. This piece you're getting here is 17 and a half centimetres by 1.2 metres. So a great piece of bonder web, paperbacked fusible web for doing your applique. So if you're choosing the applique version, pop some of this in your basket too before you check out and you will be good to go. I think it's time we met our guest. 
the wonderful Catherine. We've already spent an hour together, but <coughs> excuse me, I think it's time I hand to you, Catherine. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I had to, yeah, I had my cup of tea and my snack while you were demoing that lovely sewing machine. And uh, now I'm ready to show you a bit of a PK. So, well, I, I've had to go all the ways with this uh, lovely cushion panel. I did one where I just made it up uh, as it came. And I did one with some free motion on. And it's really good for if you want to try out free motion, if you haven't really done it before and you want to practice, because it's a nice small area to work on. It's not like you're wielding a massive, massive quilt under your sewing machine. And you can be a little bit experimental and I always think free motion like this if it's a bit wobbly it's okay because you're making it look like it's hand drawn so it's very forgiving so it's a great way for practicing your free motion but like Stuart said you want a little bit of wadding on the back yeah those yeah. those sort of rolling hills in the background are just crying out for a different kind of quilting in each one aren't they I love how you've done that circular quilting in one and the wavy lines in another. I always do little swirls. I love doing little spirals. Yes, <laughs> like doing yoga, isn't And then you do it? some wobbles. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't tend to do free motion on quilts as such, but I like using it as a drawing tool. It's a fantastic way of putting it. And something it. like this, because you've got the shapes already there to follow, you haven't got to get really really creative with it you yeah. can you know you've got something to follow that's often the hardest bit isn't it what do i quilt here yes but and actually it's really obvious definitely you're if you're starting shape. out to have shapes to follow you haven't you then haven't got to think about that bit you're just concentrating on doing nice free motion because yeah. it takes a little bit of Gorgeous. practice don't forget as well you could hand quilt this if you enjoy hand quilting a bit of big stitch quilting using cotton perlay would be lovely on yeah. this too great so and, right but pk now, the but I'm uh, uh, yeah, going to show you how to do some applique on the butterfly one. And I really like doing applique as well. Do you know what? There isn't much you don't like doing, really, <laughs> when it comes to sewing and crafts. So <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> um, so I've got my bonder web. I've roughly cut out my shapes and cut out the bonder web as well. To the, and what's important, really important, is that you put the rough side of the bonder web to the wrong side of your fabric before you iron it on. It's really, really easy to do it the wrong way and glue up your iron. And then you get in trouble. Your husband gets ever so cross with you, I've discovered. So Yeah, it's not a good look, <laughs> is it, Bonder Web on your ironing board? <laughs> no. Um, so, so check out, we've got an applique sheet. Should have been on the last show, but we were so excited about the Elna. We didn't show that. But if you go ahead onto the website, you'll find that applique mat, 6 99 and it's, a kind of a non-stick sheet that you can put under or over your applique. It's reusable. Oh, that sounds um, good. Iron and your your um, fusible web won't stick to it, and it won't stick to your ironing board. Do you know what? I need those for my craft centre. We're do. always coming up the yeah, yep. <laughs> coming up the ironing <laughs> boards because I, I do a lot of appliques with children because they haven't got to worry about pins and things, and they can get yep. a fantastic results. Instant results, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So I've cut some of my shapes out already. Once you've got it ironed on, you want to cut your shapes out carefully. I'll do that one in a minute. I've, uh, and then once you've cut them out, you're going to peel off the papery backing. Now, sometimes it's a bit like double-sided sticky tape. Sometimes it's really hard to get into it. But I, if you give it a very slight tear on the edge, then you can peel that off. And you should feel that it's slightly, slightly rubbery. And you, then you know the adhesive has um, attached to your fabric. And because we've got these very faint outlines, we can, and the little antennae, we can place them on exactly correctly, which is really cool. So we'll just peel those off. That's making it so easy, isn't it? it Having is. the antenna already there. I like that there. idea. And I mean, if you, you can always embroider over the antenna as well, if you want to. Yeah, you, you can, can add as hand, much or as little as you want to with these. That's what's so nice about them. You can decide to whiz them up in 20 minutes as a plain cushion, yeah. or you can spend, you know, quite a long time embellishing. Adding. I'm already thinking, wouldn't this be a fun project to do with children? You it mentioned would. about a plea Yeah, game. definitely. They would love this. Yeah. I would love this. So I'm just ironing those on in place. 
great way of teaching children about you know fabric and enjoying fabric maybe first lesson on a sewing machine as well well my my children's saturday sewing club start again tomorrow Yay. my my beginners one we're going well we're going to do a cooking apron but we're going to applique a little cupcake on it gorgeous gorgeous who do, doesn't love a cupcake? who doesn't love a cupcake <laughs> absolutely so they'll learn some applique and then they'll get to do the hems and Fair. sew nice straight lines so it'll all be good what age what age do you start teaching children uh, on the from machine? seven from seven yeah because cool. we've got machines that where we can slow it right down as well and they have a modern machines have quite a lot of safety features on don't they, they, do, too? they do so you can slow them right down they haven't got to worry about it zooming yeah and they just love it it's perfect it's don't forget the elna 680 plus which has come back into stock just this morning has that slowy down speedy up button the hair and the tortoise so you can slow your machine right down it's also got a special lock on it so you can lock your machine when it's on so that if there are any children or animals nearby they can't inadvertently start the machine up many many of you checking out your elna goodness gracious me pat from keridigion keridigion there we go morning both what a great idea for children's class yes totally agree with you <laughs> 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 so when you've got your applique shapes um, ironed on ready, uh, then you can stitch them on how you like. Obviously it feels like they're all going to stay on, but they would eventually come off over time. So you do need to add some stitching, but you can get a bit fancy. If you've got nice fancy stitches on your sewing machine, this is a great opportunity to try them all out. Um, you know, you don't have to do free motion. You can just get all embroidery on it with your with whatever your sewing machine does. I'm going to do a little bit, I'm going to do this, this one hasn't got lots and lots of different ones, um, or that I know how to set up, but I'm going to do a little bit of zigzag along the edge. Um, we, did, we didn't throw the starters. 680 at, at, at Catherine. Catherine, I haven't used of that course one, we didn't so. know. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know the machine was arriving, so, so Catherine had prepped on this machine. We didn't want to throw her like that. Catherine, can I ask you, the, the raw edges, they're stuck down with Bonderweb at the moment. Yes. Do we need to finish those edges? Can we leave them raw? I think so. I quite like a plique like that. What I'm going to do with my zigzag is try and get it so that my zigzag goes across the edge. So then it won't fray too much as right. time goes on. But I quite like a plique when you do just straight line stitching. And over time, you get a little bit of that sort of fraying. Um, it depends what you like. Yeah, it's it? not the nice... out of place on this project. No, is it? not at all. And the th the thing with bond web is, you don't really have to finish the edges, do you? It tends to keep them nice and flat. Yeah. If it's something that you're going to wash, don't forget you will need to finish the edges somehow, some stitching, otherwise they would come off in the wash. But if it's something that you're not going to wash, you could experiment. But certainly, such a great panel for it embellishing and experimenting with great price 12.99 you get all those elements front and back of the cushion don't forget you're not just getting the front panel you're getting the envelope back you're getting extra elements to add borders if you want to if you're going for the applique option you get the pre-marked background and all the elements to apply bonder web to and applique down don't forget you will need to add some bonder web into your shopping basket before you check out you can find that on the web. Just underneath there, just underneath us. So I, I'm doing along the top of my fields, but I would, like you say, I would go around that bit as well. I would make sure that was um, that was stitched. I like the contrast thread, Catherine. Thank you. I, well, I tend to use, particularly when I'm doing this on the television, because you can see it better, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I think contrast's nice, yeah. you know, and you can, um, you can get a bit, it's part of the design then, isn't it? Yeah. So you can change threads. You can have lots of different colours going on. Variegated for threads, of course, look very good, don't they? That'd be really nice. Would be really nice, especially on your butterflies. We didn't get a chance to look at the gorgeous new Tula Pink thread collections, Unicorn Poop and Dragon's Breath, but we will look at them tomorrow. So don't forget to come back. <laughs> don't let me put you off today. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you all again tomorrow. You're going tomorrow. to be so shattered tomorrow, though. I reckon. I'm, uh, you know, there's. Uh, oh, you're a man with I'm much energized. stamina. I'm energised. Well, <laughs> you know, it is like it's like Festival of Quilts. We were both at Festival of Quilts we were. for four days, yeah. and um, 
Yeah, that's true. extended opening hours. So we started early and we finished later. And we were all super busy, weren't we? All we day, every day. And I just left every night buzzing. I was so... Because I have missed you. <laughs> Let me yes, tell that's you. that's true. I have really missed my, my community so much. And I just went away feeling more energised than when I arrived. You're right. I have to say, the following week, though, I was shattered. Yeah, then we were tired. <laughs> yeah, I went home and then I was tired. I wasn't show fit, I don't think. <laughs> we'll be better next year. We'll be better next year. But I just find, you know, I mean, being around other creative people, other sewers, is so energising. It it's is. so motivating, isn't it? It is. Well, like you're going across the bottom well, as well. Well, I want to make all the... I want to, wouldn't want them to... Oh, I've run. Look what's happened. My bobbin's run out. Oh. Were you playing bobbin chicken? Her, I hadn't really. I hadn't looked. I can see one over there. Let's pop it in. Oh, do you know? Oh no! You see, I thought I'd got lots, and someone's done that naughty thing of putting cotton on cotton. Colour. Yeah. So it looked like I got loads. I do that. <laughs> do you? Now, actually, I don't do that because it's just really quite irritating. I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. The thing is with me, though, I buy I buy boxes of bobbins. And then I mislay them. They're in project bags. They're in sewing boxes. They're, uh. oh, they're in Mrs. Mills' bed. <laughs> <laughs> they get rolled around. You know. <laughs> Mrs. Mills is my cat, okay. I should just say. Not like my mum. No, my mum's not called Mrs. Mills. No, Mrs. Mills is my Berman. She's a Blue Point Berman, and she's 18. Wow. And um, I also, her, her mum, we, we had a mum as well. And um, so we've had Mrs. Mills since she was a dot. Oh. Yeah. And actually, when 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 Hebe, that was her mum, when she was pregnant, I actually I did that sort of you know new dad thing of taking her to the vets for an ultrasound because I was too excited <laughs> about the prospect of having kittens because I'd never had an animal that had had babies ever. And um, so I wanted to make sure that she was well and healthy yeah, yeah. and doing well. And I, and I also want, I couldn't wait to see whether she was having one kitten or two kittens. So I took her to the vets and I went round with the printout of the <laughs> ultra showing Aww. people. <laughs> yeah, like a, like a proud dad. That's lovely. But yeah, she had two, she had two. Fleur, who was a seal point, mm -hmm. and Mrs. Mills, who's blue point. And um, Fleur is still also... Um, very much alive and kicking and enjoying life, which is amazing, isn't it? At 18, it and um, no, no health issues, all her teeth, perfect hearing. I can't even claim that at 50. <laughs> How are you getting on with your applique? I'm, I'm doing good. So now I've done my fields, I can put on um, the flowers. So I'm just cutting them out because you wouldn't want to stick them on first and then try and um, applique around them. It's better to do your background and then add some on top. So I'm just carefully cutting around them. So when you're cutting out these like tricky shapes, the thing to do is make sure you swivel the fabric, not your scissors. Great. Tip. So you're always cutting away from yourself in a straight line and then you'll do it really nice and neatly. It's amazing when you teach how many people find cutting out very difficult, sure. actually. For and it sure. is a skill to learn in itself. Um, so, yeah, turn the fabric. And have very lovely sharp scissors. Yeah, lovely so scissors that are sharp to the fabric. point. Yes. Sharp to the point as well, so you can really get into those yes. details. If you snipped one of those leaves off accidentally... Oh, you're, you're going to jinx me now, aren't you? You could, uh, you can, you can, when you um, iron it on, you'll be able to stick it back Stick on. it back together. I think yeah. so. Yeah. I think it Just wouldn't be a very big deal. Just stitch over the join. Deal. Wouldn't yeah. be a big deal, would it? No. Yeah, so you can see these ones are nice and sharp because I can go right to the point around these little corners. I love the now, fact Now I'm feeling you... nervous back. <laughs> oh, no, don't. I'm going to turn yeah. my leaf, uh, chop my leaf off. Cut the leaf off. But it, it, you're right, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It wouldn't, at it all. wouldn't. I just, no. you know, I want to reassure everyone at home, you know, this is, it, it, you can't really do anything too bad, can you? And I love the fact that, that this works beautifully, just as it is. You know, you can have the pre-printed, everything's on there, you just quilt it, stitch it, or, or even just make it up as a cushion. Or do your own applique, as Catherine is, or... 
go an extra step and start adding some embellishments. You know, beading, embroidery. It would be nice to add some little beads and buttons and things like that. Yeah, you could really have fun with this. A button's great for if you've done a little wobbly bit that you're not very happy with as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, th I, think, I think too many of us know about that now, don't we? They're not doing their job. <laughs> Put a butterfly on it. That's what I always used to say, you know, if there was, you know, a bit of bad piecing. i tell you what I did once. I was long arm quilting a Tilda quilt. Mm -hmm. Beautiful Tilda. It was a brand new fabric range. It was for a book as well. And I'd made the quilt top. I'd loaded it onto my long arm and I was long arm quilting it. And when you move from one row to the next for computerized quilting, you leave the needle in the quilt, uh -huh. you roll the quilt on to the next section, and then you lift the needle, set run, and it goes to the next position. So right. I forgot to lift the needle up out Ooh. of the fabric. So the machine just moved across with the needle still in the quilt. So it just tore a great oh, long no. line across right through the quilt so what did you do all through layers so um well i had a, a palpitations <laughs> to start with and i ran and sort of jabbed the the stop button so it stopped so i'd got about a six inch long oh, no. um, line and um i appliqued a butterfly over it fantastic that's what i did i appliqued a butterfly over it so you could always buy this panel just to cover up your quilting mistakes <laughs> right so if you've got a bit like this that seems quite wobbly and and flimsy uh, I would recommend taking your bonder web off at the fattest bit, so up at the top here. It's just a bit easier than trying to do it on the slightly more delicate bit. But I have to say, the stalks aren't so thin that they're impossible at all. They're perfectly doable, just you know, do it carefully. About five minutes on your demo, Oh Catherine. my word! How are you getting on? I think time flies like a butterfly it when has, you're having fun. It it? So we'll just stick this one on. So it goes on, yep, sort of like that. That's cute. That's nice. So you can be a li you you haven't got an outline for your flower, so you can choose your placement there. And then again, using that mini iron, yeah. it's really useful, that it isn't is it? It is good for these sort of little delicate projects. And I suppose as well that would be useful to take along to workshops when you don't want to take a big iron. Well, that's true. I mean, mm. I quite like, but well, I don't make people bring their irons when they come to oh. it. <laughs> or their sewing machines. Right, Fair. I'm just going to do a little bit, of, um, little bit of straight stitching on there just so you can see what it looks like. Um, but you can obviously carry on however you like on, the, on uh, these shapes. So you're using. I'm just using regular a nor foot? Yeah, normal foot and a normal sewing machine stitch and it's just a case of following near the edge and then swiveling when you get to the points obviously making sure you keep your needle down yeah needle down it really helps doesn't it when yeah. you're changing position and pivoting well, you, you're going to and what's nice about machines like this and modern machines is your needle stays down for you yes you haven't got to do lots of winding no, automatic needle down. It's so useful, isn't it? Don't forget, if you've gone for the Elna 680 Plus today, you've got that knee lift. So where Catherine's having to use her hands to lift and lower the presser foot every time she pivots and turns, you could use a knee lift there so that your hands could stay on the top of your, your panel all the time. Do you know what? I've got a knee lift on my machine at home. Yep. And I haven't used it for ages, but oh. I was listening to you earlier, I was thinking, Oh, do you know what? I'm going to have to get it out again because I, when I first got it, I used it all the time yeah, and I haven't yeah. used it for ages. So, yeah, I shall give I it a go when I get mine. home. You've persuaded me. <laughs> we'll just finish this leaf and then we're good. Got some really important updates to bring you towards the end of this show about that Elna 680 Plus. Lots of you are checking out your baskets. The stock is absolutely flying. And you're flying too, Catherine. Goodness me, I can't believe you've managed to sew around that side so quickly. Oh, I'm quite speedy. Yeah. <laughs> We're sewing without wings. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Um, I haven't gone up the other side, but what I would suggest on, on things like the flower is do use a contrast because then it's going to stand out against that green of your fields. 
and you're starting to make a little feature of the decoration. Yeah. And I haven't even seen around all the butterflies, but it's looking pretty already, isn't it? It is. It's looking gorgeous, really fun, and, and so many different options there. You know, you could quilt the background. You don't have to quilt the background. You can add embe yeah. embellishments or not. Simple, quick. Something for really everybody. Really nice to do. Really nice to do, yeah. yeah. Make lovely gifts. Can we just have a quick look at the backing, Catherine? Just if you've never done an envelope back on yeah, a cushion. Catherine, perhaps can you just... So, on this one that I made, so you have on your panel, you've got both pieces um, to cut out. They're absolutely the right size. So cut them out carefully. And then you just want to do a nice little neat double hem down one edge of each one. And you can see that one's hemmed also. And then you lay it all together, so right sides together. So your, uh, you'll have your finished applique here and overlap your two back pieces so the hemmed edges will be overlapping like that in the middle. You sew all the way around in one go and then you can turn it through. Brilliant. And I, I was thinking envelope back cushion is just the easiest way to make a cushion. It's really and quick so and effective. easy. Who, I mean, who... Not many people look at the backs of cushions. It doesn't need lots of fancy zips, does it? No, no, <laughs> it doesn't. And when you've got the fabric included, it just is fantastic. Yeah. Great value at twelve ninety nine. Really super. If you want to encourage other people to have a go at sewing, I think that's a great project to get them started. Catherine, you've been an amazing guest as always. Thank you. Thanks for sharing your applique tips. <laughs> we'll see you later on Yarn Lane. Absolutely. I'm running now. Now, let's just have a little look. The applique panel that we were looking at there, the butterfly, that butterfly panel. All those different elements that you're going to add. So you're doing the applique on this one. Make sure you're ordering the right code. $12.99. Now, if you prefer doing the complete panel, then you can do that. So with this panel, I'm going to grab it now and we'll have a little look. There it is. You've got all of those elements, but if you like, the applique is already done. It's printed on. So you haven't got to do that part. You can go straight to the embellishments, straight to hand quilting, free motion machine quilting. You can still stitch around the edges of all of these shapes, but this time it's not functional. It's just decorative. You can add whatever you want. And then you've also got those elements. So you've got the envelope back and you've also got border elements that you can add if you want to as well lots of creativity there or you could use this for something else great value panel this and i love the fact that you can just jump straight to the quilting or the embellishing or just make this up as a cushion literally all you've got to do is cut this out cut the envelope back panels out and as catherine explained turn a double hem down one side of each of those envelope back panels and sew round. That's it. Super easy. Now the sparrow, the sparrow set. So we've got another option. If you would like either applique it yourself and this is the applique it yourself panel. So this is the one where you've got the frame You've got those fine lines printed. You can see them a bit better actually on, on the graphic there. And then you've got all the elements that you're going to applique underneath. Put some Bondi web on the back of them. And as you saw Catherine do, just cut it out quite roughly, bigger than the, the shape that you're appliqueing. Bond it to the back and then cut out the shape nice and precisely with sharp scissors. Nice easy job then to iron and then stitch around those shapes on the background and add your envelope back. So that's the applique yourself. And then we've got the complete sparrow. <laughs> Sounds like a manual, doesn't it? The complete spaniel, a spaniel. The complete. Now the spaniel will be coming another time. <laughs> I think I've just shown that I cannot name animals, despite trying to prove that I could earlier. There we go. There's that complete sparrow. I feel like a complete sparrow at the moment. Look at that lovely sloth and a flamingo flying overhead. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, 
So that's where you're just going to go straight dive in, make your cushion up or add some embellishments. Now underneath on the web, you'll find things like bonder web, wadding. You won't find wobbing, but you will find bonder web and wadding. I haven't had enough tea today. I need further fluids. Now, it's been a bit fast and furious today because we've had an amazing restock message, the Elna 680 Plus. We've been waiting six months for the machine to come back in. And at last it has. Let's talk about what you're getting. You're getting this wonderful machine. The price is incredible. £1,099. I'm going to move the machine over. 10 kilograms in weight. It's a super weight, so it's going to be really stable when you're sewing, but also transportable enough that you can get it in and out of your car or to classes. It's an absolutely super machine. LCD display, 170 stitches. You've got two alphabets, 10 automatic one-step buttonholes, and a plethora of feet. I've been saving that word all morning, Catherine. A plethora of feet. You're getting a walking foot, three different options of dining foot, a knee lift, extension table. I mean, I'm not surprised that so many, and I mean so many of you, have checked out this morning already. Now, if you buy the machine before midnight tonight, you're going to get an extended five-year warranty. Normally, you'd get two years. But as a special extra for you today, you're going to get a five-year extended warranty. No extra cost, but that is the only, the only day that you can get that. Now, I can tell you something else. Today, we've never had so many of this machine in. We know how much you love it. But equally, we've never sold so many machines in one day. It's so exciting to know that you love this machine as much as I do. I was sewing on my Elna 680 yesterday. It's a beautiful machine, full of functionality. It will go up in price at the end of the month. So October the 1st, our negotiation with Elna ends. We can't sell it for less than the new price will be in October. So at the moment, you're getting a price drop, £1,099. Don't forget as well, if, um, if you want it, there's the option of split pay. And we've never done five split pays before. It's always been four or less. But on this machine, you're getting five split pays. So you'll only pay £219.80 today. You can get on and do all your Christmas makes, all your dressmaking projects that you've been putting on a back burner, your quilt. Maybe you've bought those gorgeous applique cushion panels that Catherine showed us. This is a beautiful machine, a beautiful machine that's going to grow with you. Made by Elna, that name we know, trust and love. This is our hero machine here at Sewing Street. We love the Elna 680. We know you do too. Great price today. Now, if you're shopping later in the day, you will find this underneath um, and you'll find that on the machine, on the live web page. You won't find it under sewing machines. <coughs> it's too early. So if you go to watch live, it's www.sewingstreet.com. Best way to find it, just to the right of the search bar. There it is. Click on watch live. Look, there it is at the top, the Elmer Excellence 680, but it'll be there in the bestseller. And you'll also find it in today's show deals. And that's the easiest and quickest way to find it. Don't look in sewing machines. It's not there yet. So, so sudden. <laughs> we didn't know it was coming. We could, didn't know. You can, the, you can um, phone the free phone number two, of course, if you want to talk to one of our friendly UK-based advisors. Now, we're going to look at tomorrow's menu in a sec, but don't forget we have got one more hour over on Yarn Lane and uh, we'll be having some fun there with baby knits. But let's have a little, little look, a little look at the menu for tomorrow. We're going to start at 8am with panels and fabrics. It'll be a great show. At 9am we're going to be with Mark Francis from The Sewing Bee with the Liberty Ladies Bella Tea Dress. 
Now, 10 a.m., Delphine's back. I'm so excited to meet Delphine Brooks. I know she's a Sewing Street favourite. And uh, Delphine has got the Moda Dresden dress. Really looking forward to that. 11 a.m., we've got the Sussex Seamstress Horsham dress, again with Mark Francis, who's going to be passing on lots of tips and tricks to make your dressmaking more successful. And then at 12 p.m., we've got a very special anniversary show for the WI with some very special guests. I'm excited about that. Love the WI. So that's all coming up tomorrow, but we have still got one more hour over on Yarn Lane. So don't forget to join us, www.yarnlane.com. Now, don't forget, and this was news to me, if you've paid your postage today on something on Sewing Street, if you then go on to buy something from Yarn Lane, you do not need to pay another penny in postage. Your Sewing Street postage covers you for both, for the whole day. So that's fantastic. Do join us on Yarn Lane at 12 because we've got the most beautiful, beautiful baby knits. And I don't know about you, but a lot of friends and family of mine have had babies very recently. So I am madly making baby quilts. There are some baby knits that I think I'm going to have to make too. So stick around and we'll look at those.